Chapter 3341 Shaking Power The Purple Copper Sword proclaimed, Today, you and I are the only ones who remain in Soldier Weapon Sky. Out of us two final soldiers, one will die whereas the other becomes the leader of Soldier Weapon Sky. So, I want you to bet with me. If you win, you will become the leader of the Soldier Weapon Sky. Hansen understood what the Purple Copper Sword meant. The Purple Copper Sword nodded and said, Because you and I are limited by the rules of Soldier Weapon Sky, we have fetters with the souls of two members of the soldiers. If we live, we live. If we die, we die. If you and I fight, one of us will die. Otherwise, there cannot be a leader of Soldier Weapon Sky. I do have a way to kill members of the soldiers. If we use it, neither of us has to die. So, even if the bit is lost, we do not have to die. All you will have to do is hand over your member of the soldiers. Even if you win, you do not want to stay with her forever, would you? My method can let you sever the connection between her soul and yours. After the purple copper sword said that, she thought, that member of the soldiers will be absorbed by me. Even if I lose, you will not get anything. But I, Azura, will not lose. Interesting. I do not know what sort of method you are referring to. Hansen was interested. He did not want the little girl to die, but he did not want to be her weapon for all time. Perhaps the purple copper sword's method was able to help him take the soul mark away from the little girl's soul. After we find out which of us is the victor, I will tell you the method, the purple copper sword said. Sure. Hansen asked, how would you like to bet? When the purple copper sword realized that Hansen had fallen for her bait, she went ahead to say, your body is so strong. I believe you are very confident in that as well. I am that confident. Hansen was not holding back. His jade skin had a 60% break world rate. Even Chin Shou's clone sword was unable to damage him. That alone showed just how strong he was. The purple copper sword suggested, in that case, how about you and I suffer the same power attack? We will see which one of us loses. A power attack cannot be done by us attacking each other. Hansen thought what the purple copper sword said was not right, so he frowned. Smart. The purple copper sword laughed. The 33 skies are quite amazing. Many mysterious creatures are roaming the realm, and there are countless mysterious weapons scattered across soldier weapon sky in particular. In the past few days, I was able to find a scary weapon. Its power is very scary. I believe it could destroy everything. You and I should use that for the foundation of our bet. Under its power attacks, we should see which of us will end up falling back first. Are you up for that? Hansen knew the purple copper sword was quite an obscene person. The purple copper sword was not too dissimilar to himself. They would do anything to win. For the sword to so quickly agree to another bet meant there had to be a ploy at play. There was a conspiracy to uncover. I want to see what that weapon is first. Hansen did not dare agree to the sword's terms. The purple copper sword was quick to answer. Okay, come with me. The purple copper sword started to fly. She flew in a direction of soldier weapon sky. Upon seeing the purple copper sword fly, the girl had something cross her mind. She grabbed a hold of the black Jian. In the next second, the Jian started to fly and follow the purple copper sword. Hansen carried the girl along as he followed after the purple copper sword. Little Black, where are you going? The little girl was carried by the big Jin. She knew Hansen could not answer her, but she asked him anyway. The Jin and a sword flew fast, but they flew for half a day until the purple copper sword finally found a place to land. Hansen saw the ground was at the cusp of a valley. He saw a giant hammer. It was gray and black. It looked as if it had been made of iron. It looked very heavy. It looked mighty enough to crush an entire building even if it were to merely touch it. He couldn't imagine what might happen if it was swung properly. That scary and big hammer was sitting there in the valley. It made the valley look like a little hole. It was very intimidating. The purple copper sword did not get close to the hammer. It flew to the nearby spear. The sword struck the spear, and the spear broke in half. Half the spear flew toward the big hammer. Pang. The spear was still 300 feet away from the hammer. Suddenly, an invisible power shook it into dust. That is a very powerful shaking power, Hansen said while looking at the big hammer. The purple copper sword looked cocky. This big hammer has a scary shaking power. Do you think you were strong enough to go in there with me? Whoever chickens out is a loser, right? Hansen coldly asked. Yes, the purple copper sword replied. 
In that case, you and I can go in together. Hansen quickly agreed. He took the girl with him as he approached the hammer. Okay. The purple copper sword was happy that Hansen had agreed. The big hammer's shaking power is not enough to break that Jian's body, but the shaking power will keep adding up to become stronger and stronger. The longer it stays there, the greater the shaking power will become. With that continuous buildup of power, it is only a matter of time before your body fails. Do not forget you are also carrying a member of the soldiers. A Jian and a sword flew toward the big hammer. Even though they were 300 hundred feet away from the big hammer, the Jian and sword started to shake. An uncontrollable buzzing noise sounded. Even vortexes were visible in the space around them. Space was twisted by that shaking power. When that shaking power was there, Han Sin's body had an ice jade shield. He kept himself and the girl in it to filter the shaking power away. The purple copper sword did not use any power. It used its body to fight against the shaking power. The purple copper sword's sword body kept quivering, resulting in the generation of sword buzzing sounds. That shaking power was very unique. It was like a shockwave that came wave by wave. The shockwave kept getting bigger and bigger. When the shaking power was activated, it did not feel difficult to fight back. When the shaking power continuously built up, the shaking frequency and amount were more. Jade skin's structure was very tight. With that shaking power, however, gaps were forming. The Ice Jade Shield blocked Qin Shou's clone attacks, but it also started to have gaps. While the shaking continued, those marks became more obvious. That's a very powerful shaking power. Hansen complimented it, but he was not at all surprised. He used a beehive structure in the Ice Jade Shield. He stabilized the Ice Jade Shield to reduce the effectiveness of the shaking power on the Ice Jade Shield. Of course, after using the beehive structure, the shaking power could not affect the ice jade shield much. The purple copper sword saw that and coldly laughed. If you think you can block the shaking power like that, you are too naive. This big hammer has more than just shaking power. It has only just started. It drew Hans in there because it knew it could win. The purple copper sword moved and flew to the big hammer. Chapter 3342 First Sky Leader Hansen quietly looked at the purple copper sword. He knew it would have some tricks up its sleeve. If it didn't have any, it would not have invited him there in the first place. Hansen knew that, but he chose to remain calm and watch. He did not plan on stopping the purple copper sword. The purple copper sword got closer to the big hammer. It smiled at Han Sr. with our power. I do not know how long we must wait before finding out which one of us will emerge victoriously. Time is precious. Let me add some fire to the proceedings. Be my guest. Hansen did not move. He looked at the purple copper sword. He wanted to see what it was going to do. If it did not work, Hansen would not just sit where he was. He would flee. Regarding winning or losing this bet, he did not care. He was not going to do anything even if he lost. The purple copper sword did not care. It turned around. The sword handle struck the giant hammerhead. Dong. When the iron hammer was hit, a shaking noise like thunder sounded. The shaking power grew scarier. It was like a tumultuous sea. Hansen could use the ice jade shield to block the powerful shaking a bit. But within that shaking, there was some sort of power that could shake one's soul. It ignored the defensive properties of the ice jade shield and invaded it. Hansen's super god spirit mode was very strong. His soul body was solid. The hammer's soul shaking was unable to do anything to him, but the girl was not faring half as well. She coughed up some blood clutched her head, and started to cry. That hammer can attack a person's soul. Upon seeing the girl in pain, Hansen was shocked. The purple copper sword saw that Hansen was doing fine, which was disappointing. However, it was only a little disappointed. It had not thought that the soul power could totally break Hansen anyway. The girl's painful face lined up with the expectations the purple copper sword had already established. More than anything, it had drawn Hans in there to deal with the little girl. Members of the soldiers and holy soldiers had a soul connection. If the members died, the holy soldiers died too. Killing the little girl was easier than defeating Hans Senator. That was why the purple copper sword concocted this wretched idea. It let the iron hammer's soul-shaking power beat the little girl. It did not matter how strong Hans Sen was. Ordinary power would not be able to shake the soul away. Even if it expected Hansen not to get the girl outside of the power, and he did it, 
it would be even easier for it to kill the girl. As the girl bled from her seven holes, the purple copper sword struck the hammer harder. It kept hitting it while saying, Your body is so strong. Such powerful power does not harm you. But that little girl does not seem to be faring too well. Thanks for asking about her. But I am sure she is fine. Hansen suddenly used his super god spirit mode. The Jian turned into a white color that looked like nothingness. He released a white fire that was burning with the ice jade shield. He blocked the soul-shaking power and kept it outside. Are you Hansen? When it saw the super god spirit mode, the purple copper sword immediately recognized his identity as Hans Senator. It shocked the purple copper sword. What if I am? Hansen was not surprised. Many people knew him. The purple copper sword was silent. The reason Azura, the elusive demon alpha, changed her personality and the way she spoke was because she did not want others to know who she was. She did not expect to meet Hansen there. Azura's power made her very good with the Shura Sutra's cause powers. It was the Luo family's falsified Sky Sutra. That power could eliminate anything that touched a cause item, but it did not work on pure spirit bodies. When a spirit died, the spirit in the body would start to reincarnate and restart its life. The karma of the last life was reduced to zero. The soul itself did not have any cause or karma to deal with. It was very hard to have it. Hansen's super god spirit mode possessed spirit power. Better yet, it was even greater than that of a spirit. Not even Azura wanted to fight someone with Hansen's body. When this happened, Azura felt troubled. Her sure powers could slay god spirits. Against Hansen, there was no confidence in doing the same. Hansen thought the purple copper sword would do something, but the purple copper sword ceased hitting the hammer. It did not make any further acoustics. A while later, it said, if I give you the chance to become the leader of Soldier Weapon Sky, can you promise me one thing? Hansen was surprised by this turnabout. He did not know what the Purple Copper Sword wanted of him, but he still went ahead to ask, Promise you what? The Purple Copper Sword did not speak. A while later, it said, Never mind. Even if you did not promise me, you would have to do it anyway. After that, it did not care if Hansen understood or not. Its sword had some spirit light. That spirit light went to the little girl. The purple copper sword flew away. Hansen did not understand this. He did not understand what the purple copper sword meant, but he had realized what had just happened. The purple copper sword was gone. The spirit light entered the girl's body. The girl underwent some weird changes. Her entire body became riddled with spells. In that giant soldier weapon sky, countless weapons moaned together. It was like they were welcoming a leader. Even the scary hammer joined in. At the same time, the Geno tablet started to glow. A line of new words appeared. First Sky Leader, Soldier Holy Spirit. Hansen saw a sky full of weapon air go to the girl. It surrounded her and went into her body. Her flesh turned into armor. As one had a closer look at the armor, one could see it was made by many, many weapons. The girl's presence was stronger. When the girl's body evolved, Hansen had some power feedback. That power had all kinds of weapon will. It made Hansen suddenly feel as if he had learned all kinds of weapons' most primitive will and skills. Is there this kind of benefit? Hansen was overjoyed. To Hansen, this knowledge was not all that useful. He already knew how to use many different types of weapons. He had just been given a little bit more knowledge on top of what he already knew. He just knew about more weapon types. There was a benefit. Hansen's body was cleansed by all sorts of weapon air. It did not help boost his break world rate, but it made his body stronger. In the 33 skies, a light shone on the girl. She had finished evolving and was sucked inside the light. Hansen was the holy weapon. He should have been teleported too, but his relationship with the little girl was special. The girl could not blend his mark into her soul, but he was able to blend her soul mark completely. Thus, the Geno tablet did not believe Hansen was the girl's holy soldier. Chapter 3343 Half Man and Half Bias The girl rose up with the light. Hansen was still down below and in a state of shock. If he was unable to follow, he would be trapped in soldier weapon sky. Hansen did not say anything. He broke space and tried to follow. He caught up with the girl and went into the light alongside her. The light and the girl's body were transparent, so he could not touch anything. He went right through the light. Hansen tried it a few times, but it seemed certain that it would not work. He was unable to touch the girl. The girl reached out her hand to try and hold on to Hansen, 
but that did not work either. She was unable to touch him, and her body was trapped and suspended by that light. She was unable to exit it. Seeing that the little girl was about to leave Soldier Weapon Sky, Hansen was both shocked and afraid. He was really angry about this, but he knew he needed to calm down first. The girl was going to leave Soldier Weapon Sky soon. There was no time for him to panic. He was not going to let emotional turmoil cloud his vision and have him squander the chance to fix this. Hansen calmed down. He suddenly found a weird movement start to occur inside the girl. That movement was from the girl's soul. To be more accurate, it was Hansen's soul. The soul mark had been unable to be refined by the girl. It was in the girl's soul. It kept a connection with Hansen's soul. Because Hansen's emotions were changing, the soul changed a lot too. Hansen saw the soul and the girl start to leave Soldier. Weapon Sky, so he did not hesitate. He was determined. He immediately used his Super God Spirit Mode to activate his spirit body and go to the girl. The moment the girl left the Soldier Weapon Sky, the soul Hansen became went into the soul mark he had and vanished with the girl. The two universes continued having elites trying to breach the 33 skies. They all wanted to assert control over the 33 skies. More and more leaders were starting to appear. There were far fewer break world elites in the Geno universe than there were in the universe of kingdoms. Regarding the growth, the Geno universe was not too bad. Since the life soul chaos, the 33 skies had returned to their origin. It was through this that the Geno universe was able to vastly improve. Many break world elites appeared. Although their break world rates were not high, their potential was strong. They improved quickly. There were Geno Universe elites, and they had a scary name in the 33 skies. Compared to the Universe of Kingdoms elites, they were not too shabby. Sky Palace Leader Yushanshin, Lone Bamboo, Human King, Holy Gourdvine, Very High Leader, and other elites of the Universe were in the 33 skies fighting other elites too. They all wanted to be a supreme leader. There were now 16 established leaders in 16 skies. Aside from Human King, who wasn't too famous in the Geno universe, no one else was able to assert a sky for themselves. Where's Dollar? Why did Dollar not come to claim a sky? If Mr. Dollar was here, he could conquer all 33 skies. The Geno universe hoped they would have an elite who could become a leader of all the skies, and many put their faith in the return of Dollar. But Dollar was someone who had sunk into the sea. There was no sign of him to be found. Wang Yuhang looked at Little Flower and complained. Little Flower? What is your dad doing? He has been gone for so long, yet he hasn't taken a sky. Space Garden had many elites wondering about that as well. They pondered why Hansen had not taken one of the skies. With Hansen's power, you should have been able to claim a sky. Wang Yuhang could no longer help it. He stood up and declared, No, I cannot wait any longer. I'm going to the 33 skies to have a look. Let's go and see what San Mu is up to. Tang Zhenno grabbed Wang Yuhang and asked, Go? How are you going to go there? You have not even broken the world. Ordinary break world beasts cannot get inside the 33 skies, so what makes you think you will be able to? Going to the 33 skies was dangerous. Many break world beasts had already died trying to gain access, failing at its outskirts. I have already broken the world, Little Flower said. You should just let me go. Han Yin stopped him and said, Little Flower, you cannot go. What happened to your brother? Auntie is already worried. If you went and died there, your mother would be very sad. Little Flower looked troubled. Recently, Ji Yin and had expressed a lot of worry about Han Senator. She kept having nightmares. If he vanished again, Ji Yin and was going to be worried even more. I am close to breaking the world. Wait a few more days, and I will go when I have broken the world. Let us see what San Mu is doing in the 33 skies. See, at Qing King was looking very confident, and that bled into his speech. It will be better to just wait for me, Idongmu said. I will probably break the world sooner than you. Everyone wanted to go to the 33 skies. They kept talking, but none of them managed to break the world. They did not have what it took to go to the 33 skies. If there are no other ways, why don't we instead ask for Mr. White to go? Hanyan asked after briefly thinking. Stop talking. Wang Yuhang shouted. When I said I will go, I will go. I said that if you have not broken the world, you cannot even enter the 33 skies, Tang Zhenno said. Stop trying to goof around, little uncle. I'm not messing around, Wang Yuhang said. 
I have managed to break the world. Everyone looked at Wang Yuhang. He was the sort to fool around constantly. He did not practice or kill anything, so there was no way he had managed to break the world yet. Little uncle, this is no joke. There is no exit out of the 33 skies. Tang Xinliu did not believe Wang Yuhang, which was why he said that. It was not just him who didn't believe Wang Yuhang. No one else believed him either. Wang Yuhang sighed and said, Since there is no one else here, and everyone here is from the sanctuaries, I will not lie. I have been possessed by a life soul. How is that possible? This is bad. This is bad. Tang Xinliu thought Wang Yuhang was joking. He laughed and moved to pat Wang Yuhang on the shoulder. His hands did not touch Wang Yuhang's shoulders. They were in the air. As he smiled and spoke, his speech was cut short. Wang Yuhang's body changed. There was some weird light on him. His head was given a transparent crown. His entire body looked weird. His eyes were given an evil, cold light. His whole form looked a bit evil. He looked like an evil god. It was not like the happy Wang Yuhang he always was. How is this possible? Everyone looked at Wang Yuhang with worry. They did not mind Wang Yuhang becoming a break world beast, but the will of a break world beast was obsessed with killing a lot very quickly. They were afraid Wang Yuhang would lose control of himself. Wang Yuhang shook his head. Do not worry. I am fine. My will has not been taken by the life soul yet. My body has not completely changed. I am not a complete break world beast. I am half man and half beast. He mocked himself and said, It is fine. I am not planning to get married. I can be half beast. It has saved me some time and spared me from needing to practice. I will not have to work hard. If you guys cannot go to the 33 skies, I will go on your behalf. You guys wait here, and I will go and take a look. After that, Wang Yuhang flew out of the base. Chapter 3344 Attacking the 33 Skies Little uncle, come back as soon as you can, Tang Xinliu said to Wang Yuhang's back. We will share a drink when you and San Mu return. Wang Yuhang did not turn around. He raised his right hand to perform an okay gesture and flew out of the base. He looked very determined. After he flew out of the base, as Wang Yuhang was going to break space and go to the 33 skies, he felt his legs suddenly become very heavy. He lowered his head. It was Lingo holding his legs. He was surprised, so he fell from the air. He screamed. Wang Yuhang picked himself up off the ground, looked at Linger, and asked, Linger, what are you doing? Lingo opened her eyes wide as she replied, I am coming with you to find Dad. Where I am going is very dangerous, Wang Yuhang said to Linger. You cannot come with me. You have to wait here at home. I will go and fetch your unreliable dad. Linga bent her head and said, But you cannot beat me. If so, why can you go? But I cannot. Wang Yuhang opened his mouth to speak, but no words were muttered. It was like something was stuck in his throat. He felt bad. Little sister, stop messing around. Little flower showed up and pulled Lingo away. Lingo put on a face of displeasure. She filled up her mouth with air but she stopped asking to follow after Wang Yuhang to enter the 33 skies. Wang Yuhang waved his hands and flew into the sky. He seemed weaker than before. It was uncertain whether or not it was an illusion. Tang Xinliu looked at Ningyu with worry, so he popped the question they were all thinking. Ningyu, do you think little uncle can enter the 33 skies? In their eyes, Ningyu was the strongest. Not only had he been able to break the world, but his break world rate was really high. In the past, people always wanted to see Ningyu enter the 33 skies. Every time he was asked to go, Ningyu rejected their notions. People did not understand why Ningyu rejected them though. They thought he might be scared of going, but people that understood him knew that he was not afraid. He had a fine reason for rejecting the request of going there. Ningyu looked at Wang Yuhang flying to the 33 skies and said, I do not understand this man, Wang Yuhang. What is going on? Why is Wang Yuhang going to the 33 skies? Very high in Sky Palace had been intently watching the 33 skies. They knew who Wang Yuhang was. When they saw him appear outside the 33 skies, they immediately watched what was happening. Han Sun has not returned yet, Tang Xinliu said. Little uncle is going to the 33 skies to have a look. A very high elder frowned and said, Isn't this just a load of nonsense? The 33 skies are really dangerous. Even the barrier to the 33 skies is really tough. Ordinary creatures cannot just waltz in when they please. 
If a creature that hasn't been able to break the world were to touch the barrier, it would be destroyed by the barrier. The very high elder spoke very spitefully, but he was only saying it for Wang Yuhang's sake. No one blamed him for that. Tang Zhenliu said, Little uncle has already broken the world. The very high elder was surprised by this. He looked at Tang Zhenliu and asked, Has he really managed to break the world? How did he manage to break the world? Tang Zhenliu told him about Wang Yuang being possessed by a life soul. When the very high elder heard about that, he shook his head. He has only just been able to break the world, and he has not even combined with the life soul fully. His break world rate will be too low. Let's not even comment on how low his break world rate is. But even a break world beast that does not have a break world rate of at least 60% will be unable to enter. Look at the break world beasts outside the 33 skies. Why don't you try to stop him? Now that he is going, if he gets injured, the break world beasts of the 33 skies will benefit from his corpse. This will be a bad situation. If little uncle is going, we will believe he knows what it takes, Xie Qing King said. Do you think he is what it takes? Confidence requires power for support. The very high elder saw that Tang Zhenliu had faith in Wang Yuhang. He just shook their head, not caring about what they said. They were just guests there, and that was the business of Space Garden. They should not have been too brutish in participating in the politics of that place. It was best that they did not try and push their opinions on others, but they thought Wang Yuhang attacking the 33 skies was not a good move. They did not think Wang Yuhang was going to make it back. Everyone looked at the 33 skies, which looked like a headstone. Many break world beasts were gathered outside the 33 skies. They could not gain access, but they did not want to leave. Some of them were there to pick up benefits. If other creatures wanted to break through the 33 skies and failed, that would be their chance to finish them off. Wang Yuhang was now outside the 33 skies. He attracted the attention of many break world beasts, but none were in a rush to do anything. After all, they had no idea what Wang Yuhang's strength was like. They waited until he went to attack the 33 skies. Once he was injured, they would start attacking. Wang Yuhang looked at the 33 skies. He raised his hand and a big bike appeared underneath him. When his hand turned on the engine and made some engine noises, the exhaust created some sort of explosion. The lights across the dashboard lit up. The whole bike created some weird sort of light. It was like some sort of futuristic bike out of a sci-fi movie. When Wang Yuhang moved his hands, the rocket spewed fire. The bike became a group of different lights going for the 33 skies. Ping! The bike struck an invisible wall. The head of the bike was shattered. Wang Yuhang started to bleed, but he did not let go of the acceleration. His eyes looked cold as he pushed on with greater speed. The bike's engine kept making loud noises. The rocket's fire was extremely bright. They kept pushing the broken bike's head against the invisible barrier. No matter how hard the bike tried, it could not go forward at all. The very high elder shook his head. His brake world rate is too low. He cannot gain access to the 33 skies. He's already injured. If he does not come back now, he will become food for the break world beasts. Tang Xinliu and the others were worried about Wang Yuhang too. They trusted him, but the invisible barrier was too strong. The engine kept moaning. The rocket was like a volcanic eruption. It kept spewing flames as Wang Yuhang's head was given a crown. He was in his half-man and half-beast mode now. Seeing the break world beasts around surround him, the very high elder sighed and said, This is game over. Just like the very high elder predicted, the break world beasts around all started to roar. They were like wolves or tigers going to circle Wang Yuhang. They were like demons that had crawled out of hell. The two universes had many creatures looking at the 33 skies. When they saw this, they all thought Wang Yuhang was going to die. These people in the Geno universe are so cocky. Does this guy, with that sort of level, actually dare to try to enter the 33 skies? The creatures in the universe of kingdoms were all mocking him. In the next second, something unbelievable happened. They all saw the break world beasts, which were like demons dancing together, all leap at Wang Yuhang, who was attacking the 33 skies. They did not, however, attack Wang Yuhang. They all behaved as if they were insane. They all gathered up power to hit the invisible barrier. Like a suicide squad, they kept striking it. Pang, 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 pang. The scary break world beast went right past Wang Yuhang. All of them struck Wang Yuhang's location. Blood spilled everywhere. 
It looked as if they were throwing their lives away to help Wang Yuhang enter the 33 skies. Suddenly, blood was everywhere. It dyed the sky red. The people of both universes had their mouths open wide. They could not close them. Chapter 3345 Little Uncle's Super God Spirit Body Many break world beasts around. Only a few of them had a high break world rate or some sort of special power. Some of them did not go to the invisible barrier, but they were all struggling. It seemed as if they were engaged in fighting something. It seemed as if they wanted to go to Wang Yuhang. It looked very weird. Most of the break world beasts did not care about themselves, and they went for Wang Yuhang. It was like they were some fearless knights that served a queen. They were all headed for the invisible barrier. If one of them fell, another would come to offer support. They were using their bodies to make a path for Wang Yuhang to go to the 33 skies. It made the scalps of many creatures in both universes itch.it was strange. The 33 skies and their invisible barrier was not a restriction in which many could break it. If there were many break world beasts, the invisible barrier should have been stronger. Numbers were not what was needed to be relied upon to open a way in. Yet, the break world beasts were forming a path for Wang Yuhang that enabled him to enter. The space tunnel never opened for long. Wang Yuhang did not have time to take care of the heavily injured break world beasts. He kept speeding things up. He became a light and entered the 33 skies. After Wang Yuhang entered the 33 skies, the break world beasts that seemed all crazy went back to normal. Wang Yuhang felt major relief. He thought, luckily, the break world rate of the break world beast in the Geno universe is not high. If it wasn't, I doubt my super god spirit body would have been able to affect them as much as it did. Wang Yuhang knew his body type was special. When he was young, his body type made him different from other children his age. Everyone always thought Wang Yuhang was an unlucky person and very bad when it came to love. When he went to the sanctuaries, he attracted the ire of many creatures that all sought to attack him. If 100 people were escaping in a different direction each, the creatures would always and only go for him. This kind of abnormal situation made Wang Yuhang experience many difficulties in growing up. Other people treated him like a bad smell, in which he would only bring misfortune. It was not just outsiders who were like that with him. Even the Wang family did not want to maintain their connection with him. Everyone hated Wang Yuhang because they were afraid of being infected by his bad luck. Wang Yuhang was able to keep living because the Wang family continued to give him resources and wipe his ass. The most important thing to know, however, was that Wang Yuhang was talented. He was someone who always had what it took to be great. Amidst all those bad situations, he could still use his own power to keep on living through tough situations and scenarios. His purpose was to just survive. It was that small. Even so, he paid a price ordinary people could not imagine. Only Wang Yuhang knew he was not just an unlucky person. He had been researching his body type. Although there were no results to his research, the study of the people that had his body type led to him understanding something. Wang Yuhang did not know how to describe his body type. If he had to describe it, there was not a description that was accurate or appropriate. His body type was able to be described as one with imbalanced hormones, but that was not accurate. Of course, that kind of imbalance was not from him. It was because he could affect the hormones of other creatures. Rather, he had a substance that was like hormones. Because Wang Yuhang did not know what the name of this substance was, he chose to call it hormones. It was close to the substance. It was what he used as a name for it. This substance affected creatures more than hormones did. When Wang Yuhang was his usual self, his body type affected the creatures around him. It made the bodies of other creatures have a lesser amount of that substance. Their mass was reduced. Thus, the creatures created an emotion of hate toward him. It led to them being hostile toward him. This was why people called him someone of grand misfortune and a negative influence on others. As Wang Yuhang grew up, the effectiveness of this became stronger. It led to people hating him more and more. He attracted the attention of many creatures to attack him at once while ignoring everyone else. Ever since he met Han Sen and the others, though, Wang Yuhang started to at last feel as if he was not treated like a monster. That was why he liked being with people like Han Sen and the others. He was then granted a super god spirit body. He understood his body type. Because of this body type, he received a super god spirit body that was called Super Hormone. After getting this super god spirit body, Wang Yuhang was able to control his super hormone. All creatures had this super hormone. 
If he was able to make the super hormones of a creature lighter, the creatures around would hate him or treat him like a nemesis. They would try to kill him as fast as they could. They would shut out all other thoughts and do their best to kill him. When Wang Yuhang's super hormone increased, his body would become incredibly charming. It was not just the other gender. Even those of the same gender were unable to avoid his attraction. They would do anything for him. They would even gamble their lives for him. This was a very scary and weird power. If normal people received this power, they would be very happy. Someone could get anyone from the opposite gender they wanted by using this power. They could make those of the opposite gender their slaves. Wang Yuhang was not happy with this power. He saw countless creatures go crazy for him, and that disgusted him. He thought he was a monster. Only Han Sin and the others, who were also strange, made him feel like a human. Now, he was possessed by a life soul. His super hormone body was able to break the world. Wang Yuhang was able to control the super hormone power to make others behave precisely how he wanted them to. Under the influence of the super hormone, even break world creatures developed a lot of affection from him. They would even die for him just to smile at them. It was just that Wang Yuhang did not like this power. If Mr. White had not said that Han Sin would have trouble in the 33 skies and might not come back, Wang Yuhang would not have exposed himself and let others know he had this power. This time, he had to rely on his super hormone power to gain access to the 33 skies. There was no other way for him to do it. He checked the area around. Wang Yuhang was shocked. He saw a straight road ahead of him. Aside from the road, there was only yellow sand around. Wang Yuhang drove his bike, wanting to fly into the sky. He wanted to take a look at the entire area, but he soon realized he could not fly. He and the bike were on the ground. An air restriction power. Wang Yuhang drove the bike down a straight road. In front of the road, he noticed that both sides of it had many weird creatures. They looked like xenogeneics or gene races. They looked like scorpions, but their heads were bigger than his bike. There were many of them. Wang Yuhang was not in the mood to take care of those scorpions. It would take him a long time to take down all the scorpions. He did not know how long it would take. He was only there for one purpose, and that was to find Han Senator he did not want to waste time on the scorpions. He used his super hormone. This time, he used it on himself. With the effects of the super hormones, Wang Yuhang's existence became weaker. He drove the bike past the scorpions. The scorpions ignored him. The bike was loud, but the group of scorpions did not see it. It was like they were not interested. Wang Yuhang drove very fast. He drove further and further down the road, right past the pincers. Still, no scorpions sought to attack him. After a while, Wang Yuhang's face looked terrible. The road was seemingly endless. No matter how fast his bike was or for how long he rode, ahead of him was just an endless road. There was only the desert all around. Chapter 3346 Going Back to the World Ping. Hansen felt like his body was bounced away by an invisible power. He was suddenly separated from the holy soldier spirit. He was sucked by some power. It still doesn't work. Hansen felt rather disappointed. He had already hidden inside the holy soldier spirit's spirit but he had still been bounced away. When the power was gone, Hansen used his Dong Xian Sutra to look around. He went back to Soldier Weapon Sky, but that place was no longer Soldier Weapon Sky. This place is, when Hansen saw the place with some clarity, his face looked weird. Dust Sky. Hansen was no stranger to this place. He fought Berry Path God in Dust Sky. He had already shown up on the Geno tablet though. Dust Sky already had a leader. It was the vice president of the God Chaos Party, Barry Path God. He felt Dust Sky's power suppression was much stronger than when he arrived there the last time. After he entered, he was able to use some power. Now that he had landed, his power was already gone. Even the Metal Jian body had returned to its original form. He could no longer use power as a commoner could. Why am I here? Dust Sky already has a leader. According to the theory, no other creature should be able to enter this place. Hansen knew this was some dire news. He and Barry Path God shared a nasty grudge. Now, he was the leader of Dust Sky, and the ruling power of Dust Sky had increased. It made Hansen be nothing more than a commoner. If Barry Path God found him there, he would surely be killed. I could have landed anywhere, so why exactly was I brought to this place? Hansen patted his ass and stood up. He raised his head and was immediately stiff. A big golden bird was coldly staring at him. 
The bird's eyes were like blades. Hansen was shocked. He knew this big golden bird. When the 33 skies were recovered, that big golden bird was the first to enter the 33 skies. It had gone on to enter Dust Sky. But Dust Sky was owned by Barry Path God. It had failed its task, but it was still alive for some reason. It was either that or Barry Path God was willing to keep it alive. Now, the big golden bird coldly stood atop a tree. It was not too big. It was only as tall as the average person. Its feather looked gold. It was a very unique creature. Hansen's heart jumped. This golden bird is strong. If my power is crushed by dust sky, it should suffer the fate too. What is your name, brother bird? Hansen asked with a smile as he looked at the golden bird. I am Goldwing Big Bird, Goldwing Big Bird coldly said. I am not brother bird. In this world, is there a Goldwing Big Bird? Hansen looked at Goldwing Big Bird with shock. The little red bird had the blood of birds, but it was not a Goldwing Big Bird. It had the blood of a birdfish. Even so, it was just a mix. The little red bird had more mixed blood than another type of bird called a phoenix. The phoenix and fish bird were mixed together. If it had been able to grow, it would have been as strong as a pure phoenix or a pure big bird. Goldwing Big Bird did not speak. It looked at Hansen coldly. Judging from its power, Hansen sensed that the creature was brewing it. It was going to attack any second now. It was a shame the Goldwing Big Bird's power was restricted by Dust Sky too. It did not need to save up anything. A random hit was able to destroy the sky and the ground. If I and the Goldwing Big Bird are at the same level, we cannot use powers. Does that mean I will be able to kill him now? Hansen looked murderous. The Goldwing Big Bird's break world rate was 95%. People could see it when they broke through the invisible barrier to the 33 skies. If it were out there, Hansen might not have been able to slay the beast. In Dust Sky, they all had ordinary bodies. To Hansen, who was good at fighting, it was a good thing. The gold-winged big bird thought the same thing. It looked at Hans Senator even if its body could not be any greater than ordinary people. Hansen's presence and will were not something that could be eradicated. The Goldwing Big Bird knew Hansen was not an easy character to deal with, so it did not strike at once. A man and a bird stared at each other for a very long time. Finally, they moved. The Goldwing Big Bird spread its wings, which were 21 to 24 feet wide. It flapped its wings to fly like gold lightning. In the past, the body of the Goldwing Big Bird would have already ripped space. In Dust Sky, it was like a common bird. It had to use its own body power to kill Hansen. Hansen jumped. He only jumped six feet high. That was the result of his body being so strong. Commoners would be considered supermen if they could only jump three feet high. He went right past the gold-winged big bird. Hansen was in the air. His body drew a curve, not unlike a bird. He dodged the gold-winged big bird's strike and stepped onto the fiend's back. The gold-winged big bird looked like a dog that had just eaten SH asterisk T. It put its head down on the ground. Hansen did not hesitate. He brought his legs down like a bat leaks. The gold-winged big bird quickly reacted. After it hit the ground, the wings came back. It rolled away like a lazy donkey to avoid Hans Senator. The blade-like wings of the bird were coming back for Hansen, who was still in the midst of his strike had not yet landed. Hansen had not landed it yet, but there was a lot of strength in his waist. He put his hands on the wings of the bird and flipped it like a monkey. He used his power to jump up and ride atop the back of the gold-winged big bird. A man and a bird were fighting. If people from the main and the reverse universes saw this, no one would have believed it. This was a scary creature fight between creatures from two different universes. It was a brutal fight. Pang. Hansen punched the face of the gold-winged big bird. Its mouth spewed gold-winged big bird blood. The gold-winged big bird was not dazed by this. It moved to wrap up Hansen's body and roll. It put Hansen down on the ground. Hansen tried his best to grab the feathers of the gold-winged big bird. After a touch, a feather was plucked from the gold-winged big bird's neck. Arg! Hansen and the gold-winged big bird squealed together. Hansen almost broke his back while the gold-winged big bird had one of its feathers plucked. It really hurt. To scream was to just scream, but Hansen was still able to stand back up. He used his back for support. He used his legs to bounce to the gold-winged big bird's belly. The gold-winged big bird barely reacted. Its claws tried to grab Hansen's legs while its blade wings came for Hansen's neck. 
a man and a bird were fighting. There was a sky full of feathers and torn clothing. Sometimes, screams rang out. With one punch for him, there was one feather from it. All of the punches were incredible to the point that blood covered the area. One could not tell which of the two had the advantage. Chapter 3347 Fighting for Cooking Mate The gold-winged big bird's body was very strong. It was no worse than Hans Sen's body. A man and a bird were rolling around on the floor. In the end, Hansen's endurance and might won out. Hansen rode the gold-winged big bird, repeatedly punching the bird in the face. The gold-winged big bird lost many of its feathers. With one plucked from the left and one plucked from the right, bit by bit, its skin was showing. Blood seeped through. Eventually, the bird lost consciousness and was no longer able to fight back. It enabled Hansen to keep punching it in the face and the neck without reprieve. The gold-winged big bird's head was too hard. Hansen had to smack it for quite a while before realizing it wasn't going to work. That was why he moved to punch the creature's neck. After a dozen strikes, its neck bone broke. The beast stopped breathing. Kill Break World Beast, Goldwing Big Bird. Found Break World Gene. In Dust Sky, without their powers to boost them, lives were very weak. The Goldwing Big Bird had its neck broken, and that was enough for it to die. If they had fought outside, even cutting the creature in half would not have worked to slay the beast. Hansen turned to lie on the ground. His body was very tired after the brawl. In a place like Dust Sky, he felt as if he had gone to high land. He felt like a commoner, unable to adjust to the air. He felt tired. After resting for a while, Hansen started to pick up the body of the gold-winged big bird. He dug into its body and pulled out the break world chain. It was a tear-shaped, gold crystal. It looked beautiful. Hansen did not hesitate. He swallowed the break world gene. He suddenly felt an amazing power surge through his body. It wiped away his tiredness. His body felt alive and vibrant again. Break world genes plus 10. An announcement sounded in his brain. The gold winged big bird was special. It had given him 10 break world genes. He chopped some wood out and cut the thighs of the gold winged big bird. He cleaned it and cooked it. The flesh would not give him break world genes but it still tasted good. The gold-winged big bird was a break-world beast with a high break-world rate. It was more of a benefit than ever. Fortunately, this was Dusk Sky. Otherwise, cooking the meat of the gold-winged big bird would have been difficult. Being there made Hansen realize that his life was a brittle thing. How can this body leave Dusk Sky? To stay here, Barry Path God is sure to find me. If that happens, I am definitely going to be killed. Hansen looked into the campfire and thought things over. After a while, Hansen raised his head. He wanted to see if the gold-winged big bird's leg was cooked. He needed to see if he needed to turn it over and cook it some more. When he had a look, he froze. The fire he had been cooking with had no food cooking. All he seemed to be cooking was a bone. Only a few scraps of meat remained to the bone, which stopped it from falling. Hansen felt a chill. It was so close to him yet something had quietly eaten the thigh meat he had been cooking. If that thing wanted to eat his neck, Hansen did not know what might happen. Hansen looked around. He did not see any creatures around. There was nothing but pitch-black darkness all around the dark forest he was in. Hansen was just a commoner now, so he could not see too far. He could not discern what was lurking in the woods. He gnashed his teeth and chopped the next thigh off the other wing of the gold-winged big bird. He placed it above the fire and resumed cooking. The forest around that place was dangerous, so venturing into it was ill-advised. He wanted to put more meat on the fire to see if he could draw the creature out. If he did that and snared it, it would increase his chances of winning a fight. Fighting enemies was better than fighting sneaky enemies. He put it to the fire to cook. This time, he stopped thinking about other stuff. All he did was stare at the bird's leg. He wanted to see what ate his last thigh. While the fire was up, the bird's leg soon started to smell nice. The oil sizzled as droplets began to roll off the skin like honey. The smell and color were very enticing. Hansen remained on alert. He looked all around. Aside from the sha-sha noise of the blowing breeze and the birds screaming through the night, there was nothing else. Is that thing afraid of being seen? Is that why it is no longer coming out? Hansen thought of that and felt safer. If that thing felt fear, it would not be a beast that was too scary. To him, it was pretty good news. After that pause, Hansen sat back a little. Just like earlier, he lowered his head and pretended to think. 
From the corner of his eyes, he kept his attention on the thigh. The thigh, by this point, was being cooked very well. It smelled delicious, so it was almost done. Despite that, nothing showed up. Is that thing already full after eating a thigh? Hansen did not think that was possible. He then felt as if his clothes were being ruffled behind him. Hansen felt a chill. He shivered. He quickly turned around. When he turned around, he didn't see anything. It was empty. In the distance behind him, around 90 to 120 feet away from his position, Hansen sensed that there was nothing. Hansen looked back at the fire and the meat that was cooking, but his face made a ghastly wince. The cooked thigh had been eaten. There were only the scraps of a thigh bone hanging. There was nothing else around that place. There was not even a shadow. What is this? This is Dust Sky. Aside from Berry Path God, other creatures should be subject to the rules of this world. They should not be able to use powers. Can ordinary creatures be that fast? Even with my full attention on the thigh, it was taken. Hansen could not believe it. His body was powerful. It was the greatest in the universe. If someone at the same level was suppressed, not many people could be faster than him. That thing can obviously kill me if it wants to, so why doesn't it? He just wants to eat the thigh. Is he not interested in me? Does he really only want the thigh? Does it actually want to play with me? Does it want a game of cat and mouse? Hansen was frozen. He frowned. He surveyed the area, but there was nothing to be found. The fact that the night was so quiet made people feel pressure. The forest around was like an abyssal hell. It was very dark. One did not know what scary monsters might be lurking in wait. As a normal person, that mental pressure would likely break their hearts. Hansen fetched some more bird meat and went back to cooking it. This time, he did not want to lure the creature out. He collected the meat the moment it was done. He was going to eat it. He suddenly saw a cold light flicker. It swiftly flashed near Hansen's mouth. The bird meat in Hansen's hand flew away. Hansen's teeth sank into nothing. Chapter 3348 Meeting Old People Again Although it was only for just a moment, Hansen was prepared. Under that gaze, he saw what was responsible for the cold light. It actually made him freeze. The cooked bird flew 15 feet away. Before it could land, the meat was gone. There were only bones left on the ground. The cold light darted off into the forest and vanished within the blink of an eye. When Hansen saw the cold light disappear, he frowned. He looked surprised. The thing that stole his food was a white rat that was around the size of someone's hand. To say it was just a small white rat was not right though. Although it was white, it was quite long. It was more like a small weasel. Hansen would not be surprised by whatever the creature was. What really surprised Hansen was that when the little rascal stole his meat to eat, its body possessed wind power. If it did not, it could not have lunged as far as it did. But this is Dust Sky. How can there be a creature here that is using wind power to fly? Hansen could not think of why this was, but he knew it was pretty freaky. According to theory, aside from Barry Path God, who was the leader of Dust Sky, no other creature should have been able to use their powers there. Yet, that small white rat was able to. Is the power of that small white rat strong enough to break the rules of Dust Sky? Hansen could not find out the answer. Hansen brought over the rest of the bird meat to cook. Every time he cooked it, Hansen would turn around and scan the area for a while. Whenever he turned back to see the meat, it would be gone. The small white rat's appetite was impressive. It ate all the gold-winged big bird until there was not a morsel left. Hansen was not able to eat any of the meat, but he was not angered by that. He was actually quite interested in the situation. That small white rat might have been an opportunity for him to leave Dust Sky. Hansen put out the fire, stood up, and left. He wanted to collect more Breakworld genes before Barry Path God found him. That would be useful for him. Dust Sky was a very dangerous place, but it was also one of opportunity. The Breakworld beasts there had been weakened. They would be easy enough to kill. After walking a dozen miles, Hansen came across another Breakworld beast. It was a golem. It was snow white like jade. Two of its teeth appeared to have been made from silver. Hansen did not have to use much strength. In ten minutes, it was able to break its head. Kill Break World Beast, White Golem. Found Break World Gene. Hansen was able to find another snazzy Break World Gene, which he quickly threw into his gob. Unfortunately, it only yielded him an extra two Break World Genes. It was unknown if the Break World rate of the creature was too low or what. Hansen did not continue looking for Break World Beasts. 
He put the golem down and started cooking its nose. It was very delicious. Hansen turned around. He noticed the cooked nose was gone. That guy followed me after all, Hansen thought. He grabbed a few more slices of meat to cook. The results were the same each time. Every time Hansen turned around, the cooked meat would be gone. He did not know how the small little rat's small body was able to eat that much meat. The golem weighed a few tons, so Hansen only ended up cooking half of it. Yet, the little rat was able to eat everything Hansen put more on the fire. Hansen did not stop cooking until there was only a small part of it left. He decided to move on. After Hansen was gone for a while, he came back. He discovered the meat that had been left over was still where he left it. It had not been eaten. Hansen thought, that guy is weird. It does not eat raw meat. If that thing did not eat raw meat, there were only two possibilities. It was perhaps a pet owned by others, and that was why it ate cooked meat. A small white rat was not going to cook something for itself. Of course, the small white rat might have been used to eating raw meat, but Hansen may have given it a picky mouth. Perhaps that was why it no longer ate raw meat. Hansen thought, if it is the first possibility, that is the right one. In Dust Sky, the only person who can have a pet like that would be Barry Path God. He did not stop for long. Hansen got up and went out to find more Break World Beasts. After he found a Break World Beast, killed it, cooked as much of it as he could, the small white rat ate all the meat. After a while, the small white rat did not seem to be afraid. It eventually revealed itself at a distance that was rather close to Hans Senator every time Hansen cooked meat, it stared at the food from afar. When the meat was done, before Hansen turned around, it came up to eat it. It was like a storm. It was so fast that it was rather unbelievable. No matter how it ate, its belly did not get bloated. It was like there was a bottomless hole in its tummy. After eating, the small white rat flew far away. It looked at Hansen from afar and did not get close to him. White-eyed wolf. No. White-eyed rat. Hansen was a bit peeved. He wanted to use the power of the small white rat. But the small white rat had eaten seven or eight break world beasts by this point. Even still, the small white rat did not trust him. I should just take it slow. Hansen had nothing else to do, so he kept looking for more break world beasts to kill. He also kept trying to communicate with the small white rat in the hopes it would eventually put its guard down and keep it that way. Although he had been unable to attract the full confidence of the small white rat, Hansen's break world genes were able to increase by a lot. He had 43 break world genes. If there were enough break world beasts for him to kill, perhaps in another 10 days or half a month, his break world gene tally would be maxed out. The break world beasts were not so easy to find. Hansen was running for half the day, yet he was still unable to find a break world beast. He did see many ordinary creatures. Hansen was not interested in the ordinary creatures, so he just kept on walking. When he went to a little river, Hansen had a sip of water. Before long, he heard footsteps. He raised his head and saw a familiar face. It is you. The two of them spoke it in tandem. They looked alert and ready to fight. On the bank of the river, a man was walking down. He was wearing black clothes. He looked very gentle. He looked as if he was very common, but Hansen knew that there was a scary heart lurking in this commonness. Hansen looked at the man in front of him and asked, Ancient Devil, why are you here? Why are you here? Ancient Devil smiled at Han Senator. He did not retreat like he did last time. Hansen's brain went through countless thoughts. Did Ancient Devil randomly show up in Dust Sky? Can something like that really happen? After all, he has only just been able to break the world. He does not seem to be able to use the powers from the 33 skies. Wait. The 33 skies are vast. Why did Barry Path God become the leader of Dust Sky while Ancient Devil landed here too? Chapter 3349 Barry Creature's Place Hansen thought, so, it would appear two of the three God Chaos Party's vice presidents are here now. If Big Sky Demon was around, things would surely get more interesting. Ancient Devil appeared calm. One could not discern anything wrong with his face. To tell you the truth, I stumbled across this place by complete accident, Hansen casually said. He did not express any feelings or emotions. What about you? In front of an intelligent elite like Ancient Devil, Hansen was not planning to lie, even if he did not know how to lie. Plus, saying something honest would have made Ancient Devil suspicious. If Ancient Devil was there for something, and if Hansen was there, Ancient Devil might not believe he was there by accident. 
Ancient Devil would definitely be suspicious. I am here by accident too. Ancient Devil looked to be devoid of emotion when he said that. Hansen did not see anything strange in Ancient Devil's face. He knew it would be hard to glean any information from him. So he asked, last time, regarding the Geno tablet, do you not think you owe me an explanation? Ancient Devil laughed. What explanation? I did not lie to you about a single thing. Everything I told you was the absolute truth. Therefore, what can you possibly expect me to explain to you? It looks like you think you're in dust sky. My power is restricted, so I cannot do anything to you. Hansen looked at Ancient Devil as he spoke. Ancient Devil did not hide anything. He nodded and said, There is a way. Dust Sky has restricted my power and break world rate is not very high. But in Dust Sky, you cannot beat me easily. Oh, really? Hansen did not believe Ancient Devil. He looked at Ancient Devil. Ancient Devil waved his hands. Do not even think about trying to fight me. Now, we are all in Dust Sky together. If I am found by Barry Path God, you and I are both going down. After all, the enemy of my enemy is a friend. Why should we kill each other? That depends on whether or not you are willing to be my friend, Hansen said. He took a step toward Ancient Devil. His body was not as powerful as usual, but his will and mind were still there. With Under the Sky will and his power, every step he took was like a chess game. It made Ancient Devil feel a lot of pressure. Ancient Devil's face changed. He still understood Hans Senator he knew if that guy wanted to do something, he would go through the fire and flames to get it. He would not be tricked by mere language play. Unless he was able to bring out something solid, he would probably have to end up fighting Hansen. Seeing Hansen come before him, Ancient Devil made a very deep smile and asked, Do you want to know Barry Path God's secret? It is a secret that pertains to Dust Sky as well. This was what Hansen wanted to hear. It made Hansen stop breathing and walking. Tell me. Hansen stood still. He coldly looked at Ancient Devil. His power had not been reduced. He still looked at Ancient Devil. Ancient Devil paused and said, It is actually like Sky King. Barry Path God bred the creatures in the 33 skies. When Barry Path God was born, Sky King was already the first spirit in the 33 skies. He was born in Dust Sky. Keep going. Hansen was interested in this. He thought, of course, Ancient Devil did not come here by accident. Ancient Devil made it sound nice. He went on to say, Sky King is the son of the 33 skies, but he is not the biggest spirit in the 33 skies. The real spirit of the 33 skies is Dust Sky's Berry Path God. Of the 33 skies, Dust Sky is very unique. What kind of situation are we talking about here? Hansen asked. According to Mr. Leader's plan with the 33 skies, Dust Sky is a grave for the 33 skies, Ancient Devil said. It is for burying the spirits that are unable to be reincarnated. What does that mean? Hansen asked. What do you mean by them not being able to be reincarnated? I thought every spirit could reincarnate after their death. Yes, according to the theory, Ancient Devil replied. Some spirits are so strong that when their bodies perish, their souls do not die completely. Struggles will have left their marks on it. If such a spirit entered the cycle of reincarnation, they would be a glitch in the rules of the world. For a leader, it does not matter if it is the Geno Hall or the God Chaos Party. No one wants that to happen. So, we need a place to sort out these weird spirits. Ergo, that's what we have here. We have Dust Sky. And then? Hansen let Ancient Devil keep talking. Ancient Devil became a bit more serious as he said, When Mr. Leader built the 33 skies, it led to Dust Sky having a spirit, which was Barry Path God. He became the vice president of the God Chaos Party. There was then Sky King, Dragon King, Azura, and others in the 33 skies. Hansen did not say a word. More than anything, he looked annoyed. Ancient Devil had said a lot so far, but he hadn't actually gotten to the main point. When Ancient Devil saw Hansen's face, he looked uncaring. He went on to say, If I have guessed things correctly when the universe rebooted, Mr. Leader buried himself here. Are you saying the body of God Chaos Party's true leader is buried in this place? Hansen was shocked. He could not find the gall to believe Ancient Devil's bold claim. Ancient Devil nodded. That is merely what I have guessed. I haven't thought of it for long, but Barry Path God became the leader of Dust Sky. I do not want him to find me. So, I am searching quietly. Please don't tell me you have no solid leads. After making the effort to get there, 
Hansen did not believe Ancient Devil would go home with nothing. Well, funnily enough, I do have some leads. There is a place not too far from here that looks like the area I am looking for, but I have been unable to confirm anything just yet. Ancient Devil spoke quietly. Is the place around here? Hansen asked. If the leader of the God Chaos Party was there, that would be the real treasure. No one knew what the old leader might have been carrying. On that planet, but I do not know where, Ancient Devil said. How do you know it is on that planet? Hansen looked at Ancient Devil with a look of zero trust. When Barry Path God became the leader, he always occupied that place, Ancient Devil seriously said. From what I was able to observe, this planet is nothing special. Hansen understood what he meant. That planet was very normal, yet Barry Path God always went there. That had to prove there was something not entirely normal about the place. If you're interested, we can cooperate and find the old leader's corpse, Ancient Devil said. Otherwise, you and I might be here for a very long time waiting for Barry Path God to return from the Geno Tablet. If that happens, we will only end up dead anyway. Fine. I will work with you again. Hansen nodded. On the inside, he thought, if this place is the resting place of the God Chaos Party's old leader, that means Big Sky Demon might be around. She seems to know more than Ancient Devil. Perhaps he can contact her. Chapter 3350 Meeting Destiny Tablet Again Ancient Devil did not say anything further. He debated things a little and said, I have been following this river. Right now, I am headed downstream. Perhaps if we both go that way, we might stumble across a thing or two. Hansen was fine with that. He followed Ancient Devil downstream. The little river was just a branch of a greater river. They followed the little river for a while. They soon came across a lake dot on the other side of that lake. A river roared. That would have been the bigger river Ancient Devil talked about. Ancient Devil stood next to the river and gazed across to it. After a while, he said, this river is a bit weird. Maybe there is something underneath it. We should go down deeper into the lake. Hansen looked at the lake. He did not know much about land pulses and things like that, but his sense of perception was razor blade sharp. He felt that the lake was special in some capacity. It was like there was some spirit air coming down from it. Ancient Devil was down in the water. He swam into the lake. Hansen followed. The water was cool and comforting, but there was nothing inherently special about it. The surface of the lake was green. Usually, green lakes were not very deep. The darker a lake was, the deeper the water was. This green lake was bottomless. They dove 900 to 1,200 feet, and there was still no end to their deep dive. If they were outside dust sky, they could dive around 1,500 feet. Even if they had to dive 120,000 or 150,000 feet, they would have been unaffected. In dust sky, diving 120,000 or 150,000 feet cost them a lot of power. Ancient Devil performed a gesture to Han Senator. It was like he had found something. Hansen nodded and followed him in the dive. He followed Ancient Devil deeper down. It was not long before they were under the lake where there was a big crevice. It was like there was a cliff beneath it. After landing on the cliff, Hansen peered down the drop. The water was pitch black. It was like a gateway to hell. They could not tell how deep they would have to go. Hansen looked down further. In that pitch black darkness, and I was peering up at them. It seemed to frown as it looked upon Ancient Devil. Ancient Devil felt something. He looked at Hans Senator they could not talk underwater, but their hearts were in sync. They knew what each other was going to say. They nodded. The two of them were diving down deeper into the water below the cliff. The most dangerous place they could be was where they were staring into. They were both commoners. Their sense of perception was low. In the pitch black water, they could not see through the lake. Even if something was directly in front of them, they would not have seen it. They could only dive in based on their confidence and their feelings. Hansen's ability of sense was still there. He felt as if there was an eye staring at them in the dark. It was like the eye of a toxic snake that ate people. When the water moved, Hansen felt ancient devil come near him. Even so, he could not be accurate about where exactly he was. All he could do was keep diving. Suddenly, Hansen felt something bad was about to happen. He ceased all hesitation and moved his body to the side like a fish. He was too late. It felt as if his leg had been snared by a snake. He quickly went deeper down. He was going deep into the farther recesses of the lake. The water splashed wildly. There was a white wake of water bubbles behind Hans Senator. It was because he was sinking too fast. 
The water was kind of like a whirlpool. It spun for a while before the empty space of his prior presence was filled. Hansen reached out his hand to grab what had latched onto his leg. Whatever it was, it felt cold. It was as thick as an arm and felt like it had the scales of a fish or a snake. It was unknown if it was a snake or what. Hansen tugged at it twice. The thing was very tight. It was so tight and powerful that he could not move it. He used his hand like a knife and kept striking the skin. Nothing was achieved. Suddenly, a halo appeared in front of him. He saw a strap was tying up his leg. It looked like a snake, and it looked like a fish. It was impossible to tell what it was, but it was black. Hansen could not see its head. Ancient Devil was not far from Hans Senator just like Hans Sound. He was also getting dragged by that thing. While they were both sinking quick, two big empty pillars appeared behind them. The light was coming from someplace below their feet. The monster was trying to pull them toward the light. They sank very quickly. The light was getting brighter. Hansen now knew what was up with the lighting. It was a copper tablet. There was a lot of seaweed around it. After looking closely, though, he noticed it wasn't seaweed he was seeing. It was the weird stuff that surrounded Hansen and Ancient Devil. The copper light came out from the copper tablet. It was unknown how long the copper tablet had been there. The lake's water had corroded it somewhat, but it did not look broken. In that green light, Hansen saw the copper tablet had two words written on it. Destiny tablet. Hansen observed it. He saw the seaweed-like monsters were coming for him as a group. Ancient Devil and Hansen could not fight back. They were both tangled up. His legs, hands, waist, neck, and other parts were bound. He was like a mummy, and he was being pulled toward the destiny tablet. Pang. Ancient Devil and Hansen struck the bronze tablet. Their noses bled, and their faces were twisted following the smack. Their cheeks cracked. Soon after, they discovered that there was no water by the bronze tablet. Hansen wanted to escape, but he heard Ancient Devil quietly say, Do not move. This is Evil God's beard. The more you move, the faster you die. Hansen saw Ancient Devil stand where he was without moving. He let the weird thing come all over him. He did not move. He knew Ancient Devil was not just lying to him, so he stopped moving too. Evil God's beard did not let them go just because they stopped moving. It still surrounded them, and the bindings were becoming tighter. Hansen felt as if his bones were going to break due to the squeeze. Ancient Devil was faring a bit better. Hansen quietly said, This is not looking good. Is there a way for us to get out of this? Destiny Tablet and Evil God's beard are both here. That means Mr. Leader's body is here too. We have come to the right place. Ancient Devil's eyes looked bright. Why are you not answering what I am asking? Hansen asked with a streak of depression. I am asking if you have a way to kill this thing. Even if your leader's body was right in front of us, it won't matter if we're dead. Ancient Devil was being strangled. He could not breathe, but he was still able to remain calm. Do you know how to play dead? Play dead? Hansen did not know what Ancient Devil meant. You will live if you play dead. Otherwise, real death is the only way out for you. Ancient Devil closed his eyes and rolled his head like he had died. There was no more presence from his body anymore. Chapter 3351 Playing Dead Hansen looked frozen. Ancient Devil had asserted a deathly posture. The life in his body was suddenly gone. His limbs were stiff. He looked deader than a corpse. It was a great act. It was very real looking. Even a famous actor in real life could not behave like that. Even Hansen, who knew about this, could not tell if he was dead or alive. It was weird. When Ancient Devil died, the evil god beard that was tying him up relinquished its grasp. It was still there, but it ceased tightening a lot. If this is just playing dead, I can do it too. Hansen gnashed his teeth. He controlled his body and toned down all of the presence and reactions inside him. He even made his heart stop beating. Although all of his power was restricted by dust sky, he could still control his body. Doing this was nothing special. Hansen was a professional when it came to things like this. After Hansen's presence and warmness were gone, the evil god beard that had snared him stopped tying him up. It became a little loose. It worked, but I cannot keep playing dead here forever. We are just bodies here now. If we keep playing dead, we will eventually tire out too much. Hansen wanted to ask Ancient Devil, but he was worried that if moving would garner the attention and ire of the evil god beard again. He had to hold on and wait and see what Ancient Devil was going to do first. Hansen knew Ancient Devil would eventually come back. 
He knew about the existence of the evil god Beard, but he still went down to the depths of that place anyway. He must have had a way of dealing with it properly. He just had to sit and watch what ancient devil was going to do. The two of them did not move. They asserted the appearance of corpses. The evil god Beard did not let them go slowly. They both landed on the copper tablet's bottom. It really hurt, but Hansen did not dare react to the pain. Around two hours later, the evil god Beard around seemed to minimize its presence. It went under the bronze tablet. Now, Hansen had only reduced his senses. His sense of power had become weaker. He did not know if any more evil god beards were lurking around them. Suddenly, Hansen heard some sound come from Ancient Devil. Someone was crawling up. Aside from Ancient Devil, it could not be anybody else. Hansen did not move a muscle. He opened his eyes slightly to peer at Ancient Devil, who was sitting. He sat cross-legged like a Buddha. His hands were up, and his lips mumbled. He did not, however, make a sound. Ancient Devil's actions did not aggravate the evil god beard around. It did not get close to him. As for Hans Sound, who had just opened a small slit in his eyes, it was enough for the evil god beard to notice his play. Suddenly, a lot of it came for him like a cell of sea snakes. Hansen knew Ancient Devil had come prepared for all this, but he just did not understand how Ancient Devil did what he was doing. Ancient Devil slowly got up off the floor. He was very casual. He looked like his usual self, but the evil god beard did not attack him. Ancient Devil smiled at Han Sr. Mr. Han. I am leaving first. I am sure we will meet again soon. After that, Ancient Devil went behind the copper tablet and disappeared from view. Hansen wanted to follow, but the evil god Beard was looking at him. Hansen had to hold on to his urge. He had to keep playing dead. Ancient Devil's skill is too much. I can't replicate his talents. How am I supposed to get rid of the evil god Beard? What? Lies behind the copper tablet? Is this the entrance to the tomb of the old leader of the god Chaos Party? Hansen's mind raced through all sorts of possibilities. He wanted to know where Ancient Devil was going. He wanted to discover something cool, but Hansen knew he could not rush this. He had to remain calm and find a way to be free. Squeak. Squeak. While Hansen was thinking about how to get rid of the evil god Beard and follow after Ancient Devil, he suddenly heard a sound from not too far away. It was like someone whose teeth were rubbing against each other while sleeping. What is that sound? Hansen tried hiding all of his senses to pretend he was dead. He could not feel anything. Unfortunately, if he did not hide his sense, he would trigger the attention of the evil god beard again. Hansen got back to thinking about opening his eyes or not. He wondered if he should have a look and find out what it was, but he heard the sound come closer. It was like it was right next to him. While he was listening to the squeaking sound right near his ear, he felt something touch his hair. Hansen could not help but open his eyes to look. He was shocked by what he saw. A white shadow was in front of him. It was the small, white rat that looked like a yellow weasel. It was a little white beast. It was in front of Hansen making squeaky sounds with its fervent teeth. Hansen was most surprised by the fact that the small rat was right next to him. It was rubbing its teeth and waving its claws. Despite that, it was not triggering the reactions of the evil god beard. The evil god beard was just waving itself around elsewhere and not coming close. It seemed to be afraid of the small white rat. Hansen opened his eyes. He stopped pretending to be a corpse. The evil god beard looked at him, but it did not come any closer. That surprised Hans Senator, he said. This small white rat is surely nothing ordinary. The small white rat watched Hansen open his eyes. It then started crawling toward the copper tablet. It went to where ancient devil had gone. Hansen quickly stood up. He followed after the small white rat. The evil god beard felt Hansen go and was appropriately annoyed. It raced toward him. After a certain point, it stopped. It did not want to go anywhere close to the small white rat. Hansen was delighted by this. He hurried up and followed after the small white rat. The small white rat was much faster than Hans Senator. It was already behind the copper tablet now. As Hansen followed it, he noticed Ancient Devil wasn't behind the copper tablet. There was no actual entrance to anything, as Hansen thought there might be. There was only a complete bronze tablet with no crevice to slide into or anything of the sort. Weird. The copper tablet has no entrance. Where did Ancient Devil go? Hansen frowned. While Hansen was thinking, the small white rat jumped down to the bottom of the copper tablet. It landed under the black water. That water had lots of evil god beard moving around. 
When the little white rat jumped down, the evil god beard ran away from it. Nothing dared to touch it. Hansen had no other way to go. He gnashed his teeth and jumped after the little white rat. He then saw the little white rat raise its bum and start diving under. Hansen dove in after it. He immediately looked at the evil god beard. It was underneath the copper tablet. It was like there was a lot of seaweed at the bottom of the copper tablet's base. It was like a cell of toxic snakes in a cave. People would not have been able to tell how many evil god beards might have resided there. The small white rat dove down 21 or 24 feet down. Wherever it went, there was a lot of evil god beard. There was so much that Hansen could not see what the copper tablet looked like anymore. Chapter 3352 Copper Room The evil god beard scrambled away in fright when the small white rat went down into it. But despite all, the evil god beard was a hole as wide as a barrel. There was so much of it that they were obscuring Hansen's vision of it. Seeing the small white rat scurry inside, the evil god beard sought to close it up. Hansen made sure to hasten his pursuit. His body had only gone into it halfway when the evil god beard came for him and tied up his legs. Hansen knew it was pointless trying to struggle, so he played dead. When the evil god beard loosened its grasp on him, he resumed squeezing inside. There was no evil god beard inside the hole, so there was no longer a need to worry about anything. Hansen played dead, but he felt like something was stepping on his head. He then heard the squeaking noise again. It came from the little white rat. After the sound rang out, Hansen felt his legs loosen. He was freed. He stopped hesitating and went into the hole. The little white rat leaped off his head. Its four claws were waving, and it's small but was wiggling as it proceeded onward. Hansen followed the small white rat. The hole was a very complicated place. It was like it had been dug through by animals. It was nothing man-made. Suddenly, the small white rat had no shadow. It was like it had just vanished. While Hansen wondered where the small white rat was, his body sank. He fell. Padong. Hansen felt his bum get spiked by something sharp. It hurt him so much that he had to leap away. It was then that he discovered he was in a room built with copper. There were many bones and skeletons strewn around it. He saw a sharp bone where he had landed. The bone was sticking up his anus. Hansen pulled out the bone from his butt and threw it on the floor. He saw the small white rat scurry around the walls of the copper room. It was unknown what it was up to. Hansen looked around the room. There were no doors. There was just a hole in the ceiling. Looking at the hole, one could see there was water beyond it. That was where Hansen had come from. Inside the hole he had traversed, he was led to a place where there was just a pile of bones and nothing else. Hansen looked at the bones and said to himself, By looking at these bones, it is safe to say they aren't the bones of humans. They likely belong to a beast with four legs. This cannot be the skeleton of the god Chaos Party's old leader, who had the misfortune to die here. Hansen picked up a bone and pushed away all the others. He wanted to see if he could do something. After digging for a while, Hansen heard a dong sound. It sounded metallic. It did not sound like he was hitting a bone. Hansen kept on digging. He eventually found something metallic beneath the bones. It was red in color. It was like a rusty steel stick. Hansen pulled out the rusty steel stick and noticed it wasn't a steel stick. It was a scabbard that was made from steel. It had been there for so long that it had rusted over. It was like a red kind of rust. There was a lot of it. The scabbard was caked to the point that he could not tell what it looked like before. The scabbard, however, was very heavy. Hansen used the scabbard like a stick and kept digging through the mound of bones. He was unable to find anything more. Why is there a scabbard amidst the bones? What or who do all these other bones belong to? While Hansen wondered about this mystery, he heard more squeaking. Hansen turned around and saw the little white rat in the corner of the room. It kept squeaking while gnawing at something. It's tiny but kept twisting and turning. Hansen walked up to the small rat. He noticed it was using its teeth to gnaw a copper pillar in the corner of the palace. That pillar had a hole in it that was the size of an apple. The small white rat continued to bite it. When the small white rat burrowed through the hole, Hansen noticed that the copper pillar was hollow. After the small white rat dug through it, a purple and black liquid began to seep out. It was like the oil stains people had left for years across an old stove. Hansen smelled something nasty. It was clearly coming from that black and purple liquid. The small white rat did not seem as if it was able to repel the horrible smell either. The little creature stopped gnawing the copper pillar and started falling back. It went back and stared at the hole it had managed to dig with its teeth. A revolting, 
Pungent smell was still coming from out of the hole. Hansen covered his nose and looked at it. He felt as if he could tell what it was. Is this liquid the substances a dead body releases? Hansen looked at the purple and black liquid and felt confident that had to be it. To use an alliance saying, the liquid a body released was often called dead body oil. Hansen did not know what creature might release such dead body oils, and he had no idea why something would have died inside a copper pillar. There was, however, one thing he knew for sure. He knew that the place he was in was very dangerous. Dong Long. Following that liquid, something else emerged. It was stuck inside the wall between the copper pillar and could not come out. Hansen picked up a bone and stabbed it through the hole. Not long later, something came out from the hole with the stinky liquid. Hansen picked the item up from the black and purple liquid. Before he could see what it was, an announcement played in his head. Found Breakworld Gene. It is a Breakworld Gene? That means the creature that died inside this copper pillar was a Breakworld beast. Hansen was shocked. He picked up the item and wiped it clean. He saw a crystal jade Breakworld Gene that looked like a teardrop. Hansen kept stabbing into the hole with the bone. He repeatedly thrust. He let all of the purple and black fluid flow out until nothing else remained. When the liquid stopped coming out, the little white rat moved forward. It went to the gnawed out hole and went inside. Big brother, you might be able to weasel your way inside, but I know I can't. Hansen looked at the hole, which was only the size of a fist, and felt a bit depressed. Hansen thought the small white rat could not hear him, but the small white rat's head poked out really quickly. It used its big eyes to look at him. Suddenly, two beams of light landed on Hansen. In the next second, Hansen felt as if the hole was getting bigger. Not long later, it became a hole that was the size of a man. When Hansen looked around him, he noticed everything in the copper room was bigger. Hansen quickly realized that the hole hadn't become bigger. It was the beams of the small white rat that had made him smaller. That really surprised him. The little white rat crawled into the hole. This time, Hansen stopped talking crap. He followed after the small white rat. The copper pillar was very smelly. Hansen had to hold his nose as he followed the small white rat. There were a few screw-shaped circles inside the copper pillar. A man and a rat climbed across this screw-shaped road. Hansen was forced to touch a lot of the purple and black liquid. When they climbed to the top of the copper pillar, Hansen noticed the copper room, copper pillar, and the items of the copper screws were all able to be passed through. They created a network that could lead anywhere. He wasn't sure where it could lead them. Chapter 3353 Peking The small white rat seemed to be quite familiar with the copper pipes. It shook its small but as it scurried forward. Hey, where are you even going? Hansen asked while following the small white rat. He was walking slowly. Now, the small white rat had made him smaller. His small and short legs could not run very fast. He could not catch up with the small white rat. The small white rat could not speak, so it only ran forward and stopped a little. When Hansen caught up, it kept on running. It was unknown how long it had been running, and then the small white rat bent its waist and slid down a copper pillar. Hansen looked down. He noticed the copper pillar was empty. There was nothing there to grab hold of. Black and gray dust was layered across the wall. It was likely what the liquid from the dead body oil had become, except now it was gunky due to being dried up. Hansen slid down the copper pillar and soon discovered that the copper pillar's bottom had a rat hole. The small white rat was looking around, waiting for Hansen to catch up to it. They crawled out of the rat hole. Hansen noticed they were now in a copper hall. The hall featured a square pool that was half filled with water. A green vine was inside the water. A little green gourd was above the vine. Squeak, squeak. Squeak, squeak. Squeak, squeak. The Small white rat ran next to the water. It twisted its head and squeaked at Hans Senator. It then went inside the pool as if it was going for a shower. Hansen did not know what the small white rat was trying to say. If it had gone there just to shower, it had led him a long way. Hansen kept looking at the gourd vine in the water. He walked next to the pool. The white rat was swimming in the water, not planning on leaving. It was not planning on going any further. After a while of silence, Hansen went into the pool. After his body touched the pool's water, Hansen's body felt as if it was lit on fire. He felt as if an invisible heat was burning him. Hansen was shocked and said, This is a pool of water. Why does it have fire-like features? Before he jumped out of the pool, his small body started to grow bigger. He was returned to his usual size. His body power, 
which had been restricted by dust sky, had been returned to him. I can feel my power. Hansen was soaking in the water. He felt as if he was being reborn in a fire. He felt all of the power of the universe, and all his power came back to where it belonged. Hansen was shocked and happy. He really wanted to pick up the small white rat and kiss it. Good people are given good karma. It seems that I did not waste my meat. The small white rat did not let him get close. It swam away and went toward the gourd and vine. After a while, the burning sensation of the pool water was gone. It did not work on his body anymore. Hansen jumped out of the pool and generated his Dong Shin Aura. He no longer felt any resistance. He was able to cast it like usual. It was just like the power he used when he was outside. Hansen was very happy that he was able to his true powers. It meant he had a chance of fighting anyone or anything he wished. Even if Qin Xiu showed up, he would be able to battle him. He looked at the small white rat with gratitude, but it was already swimming to the gourd vine. He was wondering if he should climb there with it. It looked as if the small white rat had made up its mind. Its body started to shake as if it was being electrified. Then, it bounced away. Hansen saw the snow-white skin of the small white rat start to blacken and char. It was like the furry thing had been roasted alive. The small white rat fell into the body of the pool. It did not move. Its behavior seemed to suggest it was dead. Hansen was shocked. He used his dong shin aura to get a look at the small white rat. He discovered its life force was not quite all gone. It was recovering in the pool. Of course, a burned, poor little rat was in the water. Not long later, the burned color started to fade away. It brought back its white skin, and its life force started to improve. This water is really good. It can bring people back to life. Hansen was shocked. He was really curious about the gourd vine that was inside the water. He used the Dong Shin Aura to get a proper look at the gourd vine. He only saw a blur. He could not even see the base structure of the thing. That gave him a shock. What is this gourd vine? Not even I can make something out of it. While Hansen was wondering, he saw the small white rat recover. It rushed to the gourd vine again. This time, the small white rat used its teeth to bite the gourd vine. When it touched the gourd vine, it was like it was being electrified to the point of looking like a block of charcoal. It fell to the bottom of the pool again. Not long later, the small white rat looked like normal again. It went to the gourd vine again. It repeated this motion a few times. The snow white rat knew it could not block the gourd vine's power, but it kept going on. It looked as if it was determined to break it. Hansen was curious about the gourd vine too. He wanted to go down into the water and see if he could touch the gourd vine. He suddenly heard a voice sound from nearby. Hansen was shocked. He quickly looked around and saw the bronze hall's door was closed. There should not have been anyone inside, yet he clearly heard that voice. He knew it was ancient devil. He looked toward where the voice was seemingly coming from. He noticed it was coming from a rat hole in the corner of the wall. It was where the copper pillar was. Hansen stood still. The copper pillar could have led anywhere. It was like a system that channeled voices, but it had to be ancient devil talking somewhere around there. The rat hole enabled him to hear every word spoken. That voice was not loud. After the pipe maximized the sound, he could hear it all clearly. Hansen tried to peep and hear what he was talking about. Are you going to fight me for it? Ancient devil sounded cold and angry. Hansen was shocked. He had been with ancient devil for a while. He had never seen him get mad before. Even when he was locked up, he never got angry with him. Who is ancient devil talking to? Is it Barry Path God? Hansen wondered. Hansen quickly learned the answer. Another voice came out from the rat hole. Hansen was no stranger to that acoustic. He knew who it belonged to. What do you mean to fight you for it? This is something Mr. Leader left behind. It is my right to have a part of it. Are you saying only you, ancient devil, can have the items the leader left behind? It was the voice of a seductive woman. It was Big Sky Demon. In the past, you kept going against me, ancient devil coldly said. You are still the same. It looks like you and I should settle this score for good. Big Sky Demon is in Dust Sky, and she is here. If Barry Path. God comes back too. This is going to be quite the event. Hansen started to look weird. He remembered that Big Sky Demon and another vice president were enemies. Hansen thought it was Barry Path God. He now knew the vice president that Big Sky Demon had mentioned was likely Ancient Devil. Chapter 3354, Two Demons Fighting How are you going to settle this? Do you plan on killing me? It is not as if I look down on you, but your power is not sufficient. 
You won't have what it takes. Big Sky Demon looked at him with disdain. Ancient Devil Coley said, I cannot kill you, but for as long as I draw breath, you will not be taking the leader's stuff. It never belonged to you. Be wary of karma taking you. If I do not have what it takes to claim it, then you will not be able to take it either, Big Sky Demon said. Do not forget that I was the first vice president of the God Chaos Party. So, what if you were the first vice president? Let's not say the God Chaos Party is practically done for. But even if they were around to protect these items, it should be Vice President Barry Path God and not you, Big Sky Demon. Ancient Devil looked at her with disdain as he spoke. Does that mean you are going to fight me for it? Big Sky Demon coldly asked. When Hansen heard that, he thought the pair was going to engage in a big battle. Ancient Devil swiftly changed his tune and coldly said, I am not fighting against you, but I did find the real master of this item. I am taking it so that I may return it. Are you still going to fight me for that item? You said you found it, yet you expect me to believe you. I can say I found the right person too. Big Sky Demon was not so easily swayed. Ancient Devil was not angry. He went on to say, back in the day, when the universe reopened, Mr. Leader sent him to the Geno universe so he could avoid the damage done by the reboot universe. Back then, I knew this. That was why I reincarnated. I went to the Geno universe so that I could find him. Does that mean you found it? If that is the case, why don't you tell me where he is now? Big Sky Demon looked at him mockingly. It is a her, and her name is Bauer, Ancient Devil said. You might have not heard that name before, but you will know the person who raised her. It is Hans Sr. Hansen was shocked to hear this. He could not believe Bauer was at the core of the discussion they had been having for all this time. His ears perked up, and his heart started to beat at an abnormal pace. He wanted to learn even more secrets about Bauer from them. Big Sky Demon did not speak. When she heard Ancient Devil, she said, Judging from the look on your face, it seems as if you have already seen Bauer. So, what if I have? Big Sky Demon coldly grunted. If you knew Master Bauer was back, why are you and I still fighting over this? Ancient Devil asked. Big Sky Demon looked at him with disdain. She lifted her lips and said, Ancient Devil, Ancient Devil, you underestimate me. How am I supposed to know if you were helping Bauer or secretly doing this for yourself? Even if you did deliver this to Master Bauer, it should be me holding on to it. If you do not trust me, how am I supposed to trust you? Ancient Devil asked back. After all this talk, we need to see which of us has the bigger fist, Big Sky Demon said. You and I have never liked each other anyway. Let's just fight here. After that, Hansen heard some hitting noises. Ancient Devil and Big Sky Demon were already fighting. Stop fighting. You guys should just explain things first. Hansen was in a hurry. He used his dog Shin Aura to go past the rat hole. He went through the crooked tunnels to finally find Ancient Devil and Big Sky Demon. They were about 900 feet away from Han Sen's Copper Palace. They were in another palace, and they were fighting hard. It was unknown what they used, but they were not restricted by Dust Sky either. Big Sky Demon's body was like a ghost, and Ancient Devil was like a mountain that could not move. He kept standing on the spot. Still, one could tell that Ancient Devil's Geno Arts were changing even if his break world rate was still very low. Big Sky Demon kept putting him on the defensive. He could not fight back. It would not take long before he lost. The two of their Geno Arts were very weird. All the Geno Arts they used were something they were already familiar with. Now, nobody repeated the same Geno Arts. It made Hansen feel shocked by how much skill they had. Ancient Devil had been restricted a lot, so he madly shouted, Big Sky Demon, don't you be such a bully. So, what if I bully you? You have been reincarnated for a billion years, yet you only reach this rate. You deserve to be bullied. Big Sky Demon mocked him. Fine. I will let you know that I am someone you can easily bully. Ancient Devil was very angry. Black Demon air arose on his body. The gold shadow of an old Buddha started to cloak him. Suddenly, the Black Demon air turned into a gold Buddha light. Big Sky Demon's ghost-like gray Sky Demon power hit the gold Buddha light. It was not as oppressive as before. It was just a little bit better. Double Spirit Break World. Big Sky Demon was shocked. Ancient Devil coldly said, Reincarnating wasted a lot of my time, but it was not as if I earned nothing out of it. Do you remember Mr. Leader talking about the sanctuaries? I reincarnated there. You were lucky to reincarnate in that sacred land. It is no wonder why you have a double soul. 
I suppose that did not happen by accident. Big Sky Demon kept fighting while talking to Ancient Devil. Ancient Devil did the same. He kept fighting while he answered, Yes, it was not solely through luck. The old leader sent Master Bower to that place. I was looking for Master Bower, so I had to reincarnate to go there. Reincarnating in the sanctuaries was costly. It cost me a lot. My entire soul almost faded. It is a shame that even though you did get something good in the land of holy spirits, you will still be unable to beat me. Big Sky Demon laughed coldly. Yes, you are right. I cannot defeat you. But if you want to kill me, you will end up paying a big price too. If Buried Path God comes back now, do you think you can still retrieve that item? His desire to claim that item is the same as it is for you and I. Ancient Devil looked like he wanted to get through to Big Sky Demon and sort the fight out with his silver tongue. Big Sky Demon did not do anything. She still looked murderous as she said, in that case, I will have to kill you before Berry Path God comes back. While they were talking, Big Sky Demon's hand possessed a strange hand mark. Some weird sort of power was shivering through her hand. Hansen hadn't quite figured out what was going on just yet, but he felt his Dongshin aura get broken. He lost his sense there. When Hansen got his Dongshin aura back, he noticed Ancient Devil's chest had been penetrated. It went right through his heart, making him bleed gold demon blood. It looked like he was not going to live. Big Sky Demon was not doing too well either. She was looking much weaker now. She seemed really weak. Her mouth dribbled blood. The grudge between you, and I must come to an end, Big Sky Demon said as she gathered up power. She was giving Ancient Devil the finishing blow. A cold voice suddenly sounded. Good work, guys. Without you too, I would have been unable to find this place. Hansen was shocked. He opened the copper door in the copper hall. Barry Path God had just walked in. Chapter 3355 Strongest Second Gen God Very Path God The expressions on Ancient Devil and Big Sky Demon instantly changed. Two of my fellow vice presidents came to Dust Sky. You didn't call. You didn't write. Don't you think that is rather rude? Very Path God coldly laughed as he spoke. Big Sky Demon coldly laughed. Vice President Barry Path God, you entered the Geno Tablet. Even if I had wanted to say hello, I would have been unable to. Barry Path God did not say anything in response. He went a big sky demon. He knew she and Ancient Devil had found Dust Sky, but only hid and sleuthed around without drawing attention to their presence. When he was in the Geno Tablet, he went looking for where the old leader was buried. Big Sky Demon watched Barry Path God approach. She looked shocked. Barry Path God's power made it seem like he had many real dragons flying around his body. The man seemed to become stronger with every step he took. He obviously wanted to fight her. Barry Path God, you and I have never had a grudge with each other. We have never needed to be cross with each other. Why must you do this to me? Big Sky Demon was scared, but she still managed to put on a smile. Barry Path God did not move. He approached Big Sky Demon. He was the leader of Dust Sky. The Copper Tablet was able to stop Dust Sky's power, but he was still buffed a lot by the realm's force. Now, his entire body was like a god. He was becoming even scarier. Big Sky Demon, I do not want to trouble you. It is a shame. Mr. Leader only left behind one gene seed. I am sorry I was unable to share it with you. Barry Path God stepped out. Scary powers like a real, roaring dragon were going to Big Sky Demon. The gray air of countless real dragons was in the Copper Hall. If that Copper Hall was not normal and something that was not indestructible, it would have been reduced to dust. Hansen felt like his Dongshin aura was being broken by the scary power. He could no longer sense much in the Copper Hall. Big Sky Demon quickly stumbled back, splintering into countless phantasm shadows. The shadows exploded. Very Path God's power looked like a real dragon. She was like a ghost, ripping through space and escaping toward the door of the hall. Big Sky Demon, you should stay and be buried with the leader. Very Path God would not want to unleash a tiger upon a mountain. Scary people like Big Sky Demon would kill him the moment he showed a period of weakness. When she recovered her strength, she would cause a big problem for him. The scary power Barry Path God wielded covered everything. It buried time and everything else in nothingness. It was like it was able to consume everything. Big Sky Demon gathered up power, but the explosive power was much weaker than that of Barry Path God. Seeing the two powers collide with each other, Barry Path God already made a suppressing benefit. Ping. 
Suddenly, there was a scare and cold demon light behind Barry Path God. Ancient Devil was injured. He was dying, but he somehow got up and glowed with gold light. It was like a demon from ancient times. He carried a countless spell demon hand. He slapped Barry Path God's back harshly. Almost at the same time, Big Sky Demon's power, which had looked a bit weak, suddenly unleashed a shocking display. It was like a sky full of demon air coming. Barry Path God's face changed. He wanted to reel back some of his power to deal with Ancient Devil, who had been sneaking behind him, but Big Sky Demon's weird power surrounded him. He was unable to bring back his power. Ping. The powers of Barry Path God and Big Sky Demon were entangled with each other while Ancient Devil was free to strike his back. The three of them were snared together as Barry Path God's hair waved and danced. His mouth spilled blood. He was fighting the two of them alone to try and grab a hold of the situation. Hansen only felt the three powers fighting each other in the copper hall. He could not see the precise details. The three powers were flipping the sky and the ground in the copper hall. It was hard to use the Dongshin aura there. You guys set me up together. I cannot believe Big Sky Demon and Ancient Devil, the born rivals, would actually work together to deal with me. Barry Path God was shocked and scared. He thought he had really taken the advantage, but the tables had been turned on him. Big Sky Demon did not move. She laughed. There is nothing I can do because this is your territory. In Dust Sky, killing you has to be done with some flair and creativity. Ancient Devil coldly said, I reincarnated and was reborn. I have only just managed to break the world. Cooperating to fight you makes sense. Barry Path God madly laughed. Even if you guys are cooperating and want to kill me, Barry Path God, such a task is not done so easily. I will just make you both die with me. Why are you doing this? Mr. Leader only lets you guard Dust Sky. He did not tell you to go to the Destiny Tablet. You did not even know where the Destiny Tablet's entrance was. Is it really worth risking your life for something that does not even belong to you? Big Sky Demon spoke those words in an attempt to convince her foe. Barry Path God coldly grunted. Do you think I do not know that you two are just glorified watchdogs? Whatever it is that is inside there, the leader has kept it for the Little Master. When the words Little Master were heard, Ancient Devil and Big Sky Demon immediately changed expressions. Barry Path God coldly laughed when he saw their faces change. Do not expect this to be a secret only you two are privy about. I did not live for nothing. Mr. Leader risked so much to give birth to that thing. Everything that resides here belongs to the Little Master. You should both know that we are not qualified to touch it. Tiki. Barry Path God really is Barry Path God, Big Sky Demon said. I underestimated you. I did not expect you to know about the existence of the Little Leader. Yes, this item is for the Little Leader. So, you have no right to take it. When Hansen heard that, he was shocked. Big Sky Demon and Ancient Devil said the stuff here is for Bauer, and Barry Path God is saying this stuff is for the Little Leader. Does that mean Bauer is the daughter of God Chaos Party's old leader? Many thoughts were racing through Hansen's mind. If Bauer is the God Chaos Party's leader's daughter, it now makes sense as to why Rocky D and Big Sky Demon do not want the God Spirits to learn about her identity. If so, why are the God Chaos Party people hiding it? While he was thinking about this, he heard Barry Path God say, It is fine if the little leader had the blood of other people, but he has the God Chaos Party's enemy's blood. With that identity, how can the God Chaos Party be led? The stuff in the God Chaos Party should not be handled by him. When Hansen heard that, he felt as if his brain had blown up. He finally knew who Bauer's parents were. To have said that the God Chaos Party's rival could touch God Chaos Party leader meant the only one eligible to fit that bill was God Hall leader. Bauer's parents are God Chaos Party leader and the prior God Hall leader. Being born to such figures is like cheating. It must be the greatest next generation being. Hansen could not believe his own guessing. Aside from that, he could not think of another possibility. Hansen now understood why creatures were always so nice to Bauer. The strengths of her genes put her on top of the food chain in the main and reverse universes. No other creature had genes better than hers. Chapter 3356 Gord Vine The Copper Hall's power kept shaking. Big Sky Demon and Ancient Devil took the advantage, but they were still unable to eliminate Barry Path God. Barry Path God was the leader of Dust Sky, and Ancient Devil's power had yet to fully recover. 
It was because of this that the situation was not a favorable one. Hansen kept using the Dong Shin aura to invade the Copper Hall. He wanted to learn more secrets, especially about those involving Bauer. The Dong Shin aura kept being broken by the Copper Hall's power. Hansen had to keep trying his best to hear the sounds as all he was hearing were bits and bobs. For the sake of Mr. Leader, I will admit he is the little master, but we cannot allow a guy that has a god's spirit blood pulse ruin the god chaos party. Very path god's voice kept breaking as he spoke. If you were this loyal to the little leader, I suppose you are not here to take the gene seed for yourselves. If you are both here for the same thing, then how dare you criticize me? Big Sky Demon laughed and said, Well said. We are not in a place to judge you, but the gene seeds are not for you to take. Therefore, I can only say sorry. Very path god coldly honked. There are no apologies involved. The god chaos party has always focused on those who assert strength and are stronger than their peers. If you have what it takes, then there should be nothing stopping you from killing me. I never expected you two vice presidents would be cooperating with each other in a bid to challenge me. What a good show. This is so rare. Before Barry Path God could speak, Ancient Devil said, I and Big Sky Demon are not friends, but the reason for that is because our personal opinions differ. A difference of opinion is not something that should develop into a personal grudge. While we were at the party, we were friends. Now, the God Chaos party is practically dead. There is no reason for us not to continue being friends. Big Sky Demon did not actually agree with Ancient Devil. She said, Ancient Devil, you do not have to sugarcoat all this. You and I were ready and willing to kill each other. On this gene seed matter, we have the same purpose. If we do no kill Barry Path God, neither of us can claim the gene seed. All we can do is cooperate. Humph. Even if you guys do manage to kill me, you will not be able to claim the gene seed. Do not forget that is what Mr. Leader left for the little leader. Do you guys really think Mr. Leader would not have a backup plan? Barry Path God coldly grunted. You do not have to occupy your mind about that, Big Sky Demon said. Her power started to rage. Hansen heard Barry Path God grunt as the power surged crazily through the copper hall. When his Dong Shin aura reached the hall, it broke. He was unable to hear anything more. After hesitating, Hansen turned his head to look at the pool and gourd vine. He saw that the little white rat had yet to give up. It kept trying to climb the vine gourd, but kept failing. Hansen thought, Barry Path God said something about the gene seed. He cannot be referring to this gourd vine, can he? Hansen looked at the gourd vine and believed it was true. Bao had come from a gourd. If the God Chaos Party's old leader really was going to leave her something, it made sense for it to be a gourd vine. Hansen thought, it is a shame that Bauer is not here. Otherwise, whether it is or not, I could take the gourd vine first. As he was thinking, his heart suddenly jumped. I wonder if I will ever have the chance to come here again. I should at least try and take it with me. If I am able to, I can at least deliver to Bauer. While Hansen was in thought, he drifted over to the pool. He witnessed the little white rat almost get killed by the gourd vine. He had actually seen this many times, so Hansen did not dare be reckless. He went into the water of the pool and swam to the gourd vine. Hansen had already made a plan. If the gourd vine's power was too strong, and he could not withstand the power, he could end up like the small white rat. He could use the power of the pool's water to repair his body. As he went in front of the gourd vine, Hansen put his body into xenogeneic mode. The four geno arts were able to break the world together. His entire body was wrapped up by black armor. Outside of his body, his form was ravaged by white, half-transparent fire. He reached his hand out and carefully grabbed the leaves of the gourd vine. Seeing Hansen was going to take the gourd leaf, the small white rat stopped trying to take the gourd vine. It floated in the water and watched. It opened its eyes wide. It did not look away while staring at Hansen's hand. As his fingers were about to touch the gourd and its leaves, Hansen felt rather conflicted. He made up his mind and grabbed the gourd leaf, ready to sustain a heavy amount of damage. The scary power attack did not show up. Hansen was able to grab the leaves of the gourd like they were any ordinary ones. No special kind of power zapped him. The weirdest thing about this was that the gourd vine, which showed no movement before, was now moving as if it was a living thing. The green vine touched Hansen's hand. It then went around his waist. It was like a snake coiling around him, including his arms. Hansen did not dare move. He sensed that the gourd vine was not doing this for any harmful purposes. 
he felt as if he had a bond with it. This gourd vine is really related to Bauer. Hansen now knew for sure this was the case. There was an 80% to 90% chance that this was the gene seed the others were talking about. The small white rat's disaster was now in front of him. Hansen could not believe the god chaos party leader would leave something so prestigious behind, yet he was able to pick it up so easily. Hansen could only think of one simple reason for why he was able to interact with the gourd vine, and that was because of his relationship with Bauer. Although Hansen was not Bauer's actual father, Bauer accepted Hansen's blood to be born. When Hansen built his body in the sanctuaries, he borrowed Bauer's power to build it. It was only normal for him to have Bauer's presence. The gourd vine climbed onto Hansen's body. It was like a snake surrounding his body. In the end, the little green gourd vine came in front of Hans Senator. A small gourd was hanging around in front of his forehead. It swung around his forehead. It was like it was trying to smell him. Hansen did not feel any hostility from the gourd vine, but he was still a bit nervous about all of this. After all, he was not Bauer. Thus, he could not tell whether or not the gourd would approve him. While Hansen was feeling conflicted about all this, he saw the small green gourd shine like a lamp. It made the small gourd look like a green lamp. Hansen looked at the small gourd, unsure whether or not this was good or bad. Judging from the presence he could sense within the gourd, he thought it was weird. It was a presence that made Hansen feel strange, yet it was very familiar. The presence was like the black armor's power. It was not the same, though. It was not as strong as the black crystal armor he knew. This was so soft. It was like a small stream. Chapter 3357, Gourd Seed Katja. While Hansen was checking out the gourd, he witnessed the gourd suddenly break. It was like the little gourd was a lamp that fell from the gourd vine. When the gourd left the vine, the green gourd vine quickly died. It turned to dust that scattered across the ripples of the pool's water. After that, it disappeared. The small gourd continued to float in front of Hans Senator. It kept flickering like a heartbeat. It was like a firefly constantly flickering. Hansen wondered if he should reach his hand out to grab the little gourd. The small white rat that had been watching all that time finally jumped out from the water. With its mouth open wide, it revealed its sharp teeth. It was going to try and bite the small gourd. The small white rat's actions were too fast and sudden. Hansen's mind had been fixated on the gourd. When he noticed the rat, it was already too late. The small white rat opened its mouth wide. It swallowed the small, hand-sized gourd via its mouth. Before the gobbled gourd could reach its belly, there was some sort of catch a catch a noise. The small white rat's teeth were all over the floor. Its body bounced away and went patong into the pond. The splashes were a few inches high. It was different from when it had been turned into charcoal after nibbling the vine. This time, the body of the small white rat had not been rendered charcoal. What happened to it was certainly scarier than the whole charcoal transformation attack. Now, its body was like ice. When it hit the water, only then did it melt. Within a second, the small white rat's body became water just like the pond. Hansen was frozen after seeing that. The small white rat was not an ordinary thing. Its break world rate was obviously high, but it had only tried to bite the gourd before being reduced to nothing but water. That was a frightening thing to witness. Hansen had wondered if he should take the small gourd or not. Now, he did not dare grab it. Katcha. Katcha. After the small white rat dissolved, the small gourd started to exhibit new changes. The shell of the gourd looked like glass. It had lots of cracks across the surface. It spread fast. It was going to shatter. Of course, in the blink of an eye, the gourd shell that was full of cracks went catcha and exploded. Hansen's eyes opened wide. He looked at the gourd, which had suddenly been sundered into bits. He saw a dark red gourd seed floating amidst the rubble of its prior self. After the gourd exploded, the gourd seed went toward Hansen. Without thinking, Hansen took it. The dark red gourd seed landed in his hands. The light started to fade. It quickly looked like an ordinary seed. This gourd seed should be the Geno seed that Big Sky Demon and the others want. But what is the point of this thing? Are you supposed to just eat it like an ordinary seed? Hansen looked at the gourd seed. He had no what he could do with it. It was just like a pumpkin seed except it was dark red. It looked crystal. It looked like it had been made of blood jade. He researched the gourd seed again and again, but he had been unable to find anything. Hansen had no choice but to put it away and return to the pool. The small white rat did not show up again. He knew it had been killed. 
He felt kind of sad about it. The small white rat had helped him a lot, yet it had been killed like that. I wonder who that small white rat belonged to. Who was it? If it was able to traverse in and around the copper tablet, it must have had some ties to the God Chaos Party. Hansen tried to guess. Either way, he had nothing he could use to prove and clear its identity. When he returned to the rat hole, Hansen tried to use his Dong Shin aura to squeeze through the hole of the copper pillar. He tried to peep on Big Sky Demon and her fight with the other two people beyond the hole. I do not know if there has been a result in Victor in that fight yet, Hansen thought. After the Dong Shin aura reached the hall, he did not receive any resistance. He saw what was in the hole. Big Sky Demon, Ancient Devil, and Barry Path God were still there in the hall, but the situation they were in now was rather weird. The three of them were standing like a tripod. They were holding each other's hands. It was like there was an invisible power floating between the three people. It created a weird balancing mode. Big Sky Demon, you should be happy now. We were all supposed to win, and now you had to bring harm to yourself. Ancient Devil looked cold as he spoke. You and I would have had to fight eventually. I was just getting things prepared. If you and I were not thinking about the same thing, how were you able to block my Sky Demon dissolving body instantly? Big Sky Demon looked pretty. Her face did not look so well, though. She was looking rather drained and pale. Ancient Devil said, At least I did not fight you before we tried to kill Berry Path God. According to their conversation and the situation they seemed to be in, Hansen could guess that Big Sky Demon suddenly bailed right when they were about to kill Berry Path God. She wanted to kill Ancient Devil and Berry Path God in one fell swoop. She had not expected that Ancient Devil was already prepared for that. Now, the three of them were trapped together. Barry Pathgod quietly said, If this continues, none of us will benefit. Why don't we just stop now while we're ahead? We can let bygones be bygones and have what happened between us today be nothing more than water under the bridge. We should use our own power to get the gene seed now. Don't you even think about it, Big Sky Demon said with a curl of her lips. She looked at him disdainfully. Considering Dust Sky is your territory, I highly doubt you will allow us to leave this realm safely. Even if we were allowed to leave safely, you were in dust sky. Like being in a moon tower, you get the moon first. We will have no chance to take the gene seed from you and escape. Ancient Devil was silent. He did not plan on giving up on what he had gone there for. Very path God could not convince them, so he asked, Do you know a person called Chin Shio? Why does it matter if I have heard of him? Ancient Devil and Big Sky Demon did not know why Barry Path God was mentioning Chin Shio now of all times. Do you not think that person is quite strange? Burr Path God slowly said, he was a human who traveled between the main and reverse universes. He kept chasing our leader. How many people were ever able to do something like that? Big Sky Demon seemed to realize something. So she looked at Barry Path Sky and asked, what are you trying to say? Barry Path God was not in a big rush. He slowly said, when our universe rebooted, humans were able to rise. There was a scary Wu Wei Dao Alpha who was born uniquely. Not even I would have been able to battle him. I suspect he would have become a leader or a reincarnation of the last God Hall leader. No way, Big Sky Demon said. If that was the reborn leader, he should have gone to the Geno universe. He died in the universe of kingdoms. Was he also able to reincarnate in the universe of kingdoms? It is like that. According to the theory, but that is a strange point, Barry Path God said. The Wu Wei Dao Alpha did, however, have a gene prototype. Now, Big Sky Demon and Ancient Devil changed their colors. They fell into deep contemplation. Ancient Devil went quiet before asking, Are you sure he had a gene prototype? Chapter 3358 The Leader's Real Face Barry Path God nodded. I'm not sure if Wu Wei Dao Alpha had the gene prototype or if Qin Xiu really is the Wu Wei Dao Alpha after reincarnating. Big Sky Demon and Ancient Devil retreated into deep thought. Very Path God did not say anything more. It was not long before the entire hall fell silent. It was so quiet that if a pin was dropped, it would end up shattering people's eardrums. Is Qin Xiu the Wu Wei Dao Palace Alpha? Hansen pondered this too, but he was unable to receive an answer just yet. There was not a whole lot he knew about the Wu Wei Dao Palace or the Alpha, so there was no proper way for him to compare them. While he was thinking, something more happened inside that Copper Hall. A scary power exploded in the Copper Hall, scattering Han Sin's Dong Shin aura. Once again, he could no longer discern what was happening there. 
When Hansen witnessed the situation in the copper hall, the hall was empty. Nobody was there. Big Sky Demon, Ancient Devil, and Berry Path God were gone. There were bloodstains on the floor where they previously were. It was unknown if the bloodstains belonged to just one of them or all the three of them. Hansen quickly moved to explore the entire hall. He noticed there was a door on all four sides. Three of those copper doors were open. It was unknown which door they departed from. That place was inside the Destiny Tablet. It had a weird power that blocked abilities, so Hansen could not his galaxy teleportation to enter or leave. His Dongshan aura was now blocked by the Copper Hall too. He could not tell where the three of them went. It looks like I will have to leave via the way I came in from. Hansen used Blood Pulse Sutra to morph his body into something that resembled a boneless snake. He entered the rat hole and followed the path through the copper pillars to reach the copper wall. He was going to go to the copper hall Big Sky Demon and the others were previously in. Hansen entered the rat hole. He had not left yet when he heard the sound of gears starting to move. The copper hall he had just been inside of was slowly opening. Hansen's heart jumped. He went into the rat hole and looked toward the copper door. It was rising to reveal a weird shadow that belonged to Big Sky Demon. How did Big Sky Demon find this place so quickly? Hansen was shocked. He did his best to avoid being discovered by Big Sky Demon. Big Sky Demon entered the hall and looked at the pool. It was empty. The pool was only half full. She frowned and asked, How can it not be here? Back then, Mr. Leader said the gene seed would be in this pool. Why is it not here now? Big Sky Demon kept talking to herself as she went next to the pool. She looked at the bottom of the pool and noticed how clear it was. There were no clues to be found. At the bottom, there was no seed or anything remotely similar to what she wanted. This is weird. Mr. Leader would not lie to me. There is a gene fluid here, and the gene seed can only be grown here. Ergo, it begs the question, why is it not here? Was the universe rebooted too much in a rush that resulted in it being erased? Was Mr. Leader not able to put the gene seed inside the gene pool in time? If that was true, where could the gene seed even be? Big Sky Demon looked around. She then looked at the rat hole. Hansen was shocked. Although he knew Big Sky Demon would notice the rat hole, he was still a bit scared. He had inside it a little harder. Big Sky Demon said to herself, The Destiny Tablet has holes in it. It looks like Mr. Leader's Gem I Rat is still alive, but the Gem I Rat should not have had what it took to take the gene seed. She went closer to the rat hole, trying to find out more about it. Hansen used the Dong Shin Aura to hide his presence. He climbed the copper pillar and tried to go back. When Big Sky Demon spoke to herself, he was able to confirm he had taken the prestigious gourd seed that was the gene seed god Chaos Party's old leader left behind. That meant he had been able to retrieve everything he needed there. It was now time for him to go. When Big Sky Demon came before the rat hole, she stopped. She looked at the copper hall's wall inside the chamber and then said, Weird. I seem to remember this was not here before. Big Sky Demon turned around. She stood in front of the wall and did not move an inch. She was looking at something. Hansen wanted to walk away, but he got curious. He did not leave yet. He looked at the wall. In the past, Hansen focused on the gourd vine and the pool. He did not pay attention to the walls. He now noticed that there were some patterns on the wall. Now that he was looking at it, aside from the carvings in it, there was a depiction of a beast on that wall. A stone ring was on the beast's head nose. Big Sky Demon looked at it for a while. She reached out her hand and held the stone ring. She pulled it. She pulled out the stone ring, which led to the sound of cogs turning. The wall rose and revealed another copper hall. It wasn't really another copper hall. The copper hall behind it was connected to the copper hall she was in, so it was more of a wall to split the copper hall in half. Now, the wall was rising, and the entire copper hall was showing. Hansen did not see what was in that hole before the copper hall arose, but Big Sky Demon screamed and kowtowed on the floor. Mr. Leader! No way. Is the God Chaos Party's leader not dead? Hansen developed a cold sweat. He looked at the hall behind him. There was a bed in that hall. There was also a woman wearing white clothes. She was so pretty that she was like a jade statue. Looking between the eyebrows of the woman, Hansen got the sense that she looked like Bauer. She was very pretty. She was lying on the bed with her hands holding her jaw. Her eyes were closed as if she was asleep. After Hansen took a closer look, he felt relieved. The woman looked lively, but it was a jade statue and not something that was actually alive. 
I did not expect the God Chaos Party leader to be such a beautiful woman. Hansen was shocked as he looked at the Jade statue. Big Sky Demon had found out the secret too. She sighed and wiped away her cold sweat. She got up off the floor. Mr. Leader, you almost scared me to death. Big Sky Demon patted herself on the chest. She noticed it was a statue, but she was still scared by it. She bowed and went peeking around the bed. Hansen was peeking around the bed and Jade statue there too. He saw a book beneath the Jade statue. The book was open. He could not see the cover, but he could see the contents of the text. Hansen used his Da Shin aura to get a better look. When he saw the contents of the book, he looked strange. White Jade Jing is up in the sky. Twelve buildings, five cities. Fairies are above my head, and my hair grows. No way. Why is this poem here? Is the Jade Fairy that made the White Jade Jing and the other Jade Fairies the God Chaos Party leader? Hansen was very shocked. Chapter 3359 Bower's Destiny If the old leader of the God Chaos Party was the Fairy White King spoke about, it means that a long, long time ago, the old leader had already managed to break through the main and the reverse universes. She had managed to gain access to the Geno universe. Wait. Hansen's brain suddenly lit up as a scary thought crossed his mind. If I say that the God Chaos Party's leader was a creature that came from the Geno universe, Hansen thought the idea he had just come up with was rather mad. Then again, it was not something that could be deemed impossible either. After all, he did not have any facts to confirm his guesses. So, he stopped thinking about it. Where the God Chaos Party leader came from did not seem to matter too much. Now, Hansen only wanted to know what Gord Seed's purpose was and how it would benefit Bauer. He did not know if it would be good or bad for her. Big Sky Demon saw the book as well, but she merely started turning its pages gently. As for grabbing the book, that was something she did not dare do. She was still scared. Although it was just a statue in that room, she did not want to show any disrespect. Big Sky Demon carefully went around the bed. She started searching around. She did not search too precisely. Big Sky Demon did not go rifling through all she saw. She just observed what she could. There was quite a lot of stuff in the hall. There was a bronze stove, bronze pot, bronze statue, and an instrument. There were bookshelves and bamboo scrolls. There was a great deal of many things. Big Sky Demon looked at them all, but she did not touch any of them. When Big Sky Demon saw one thing in particular, her body started to shiver. She lost her voice as she screamed. Demon Heart Stove. Hansen used his Dong Shin aura to take a peek. He had a gander at the object that made Big Sky Demon freak out and start shaking like a madman. It was a seven inch wide black metal stove. The stove was semicircular and adorned with floral patterns. It was black. It was unknown what it might have been made of. There were patterns of mysterious flowers, and it was releasing white smoke. Hansen was unable to tell what was so great about this thing. By comparison, Big Sky Demon was really thrilled by it. She was shaking a lot as she inched her way closer to the object that she had declared to be a demon heart stove. She looked very hesitant to approach it. Her hand slowly reached forward. Hansen could tell she was making a difficult decision, but she could not fight back the temptation. She held the demon heart stove. Little daughter, you are back. When the demon heart stove was lifted, a female's voice was heard in the hall. It sounded lively and elegant. Dong. Dong. Big Sky Demon stood still. The demon heart stove she clutched fell to the ground. She peered behind her with a look of disbelief. She turned her eyes to the jade statue. The jade statue was across the bed. It still appeared to be a stone, but the eyes possessed a life force. The face had a life force too. It was like the statue was alive. It was smiling at Big Sky Demon. Mr. Mr. Leader. Big Sky Demon jumped in front of the Jade Statue and started kneeling before it. She grabbed the hand of the Jade Statue but was too crazed to speak words. Little daughter, do not do this. This is one of the last remnants of my soul. If you are too excited and extinguish this last bit of my soul, I will be unable to speak to you. The Jade Statue raised its hand and stroked Big Sky Demon's hair like a mother who loved her child. Mister, can you really not come back? Big Sky Demon was always very flirty and renowned for playing and making fools out of everyone. She was now wholly different. She was like a little girl looking at the statue with watery eyes. It was as if she was praying for an answer. Maybe. I am just a shred of a soul, 
So there are many things I do not know, the jade statue said with a sigh. It then asked Big Sky Demon, Little daughter, have you seen my child? I have seen her, Big Sky Demon said. She is great and beautiful. She is like you. She has an incredible array of talents and has managed to achieve all your grace. In the entire universe, I do not doubt there are none better than her. Being good might not be a good thing. I would much prefer her to become an ordinary child and lead a simple life. When the Jade statue heard Big Sky Demon's words, she looked weird. She was happy and proud, but she was also worried. Mister, are you worried that Gino Hall will not accept our little master? Do not worry. If I have guessed things correctly, the new God Hall leader knows the identity of Master Bauer. He has not tried to do anything to Master Bauer. Ergo, I do not think you need to worry too much about it. The child's name is Bauer, the jade statue said softly. It's shown with a motherly light. Yes, that is correct, Big Sky Demon said. A mixed human took her as his own and gave her that name. Has that person been treating Bauer nicely? The jade statue asked. Good. Very good. He has been treating Master Bauer like a real daughter. Master Bauer loves him very much as well. That is why I have made no effort to take her away from him. Big Sky Demon's answers were at least making Hans and feel a whole lot better. That is good to hear. The Jade Statue sighed. It is good if Master Bauer is like a normal child. We will not have to worry about her too much. Mister, what do you mean? Big Sky Demon looked at the Jade Statue with confusion. The Jade Statue sighed. Bauer's body has his genes. No matter how much the god spirits of the Geno Hall hate me, for his sake, they will not do anything to Bauer. I do not worry about them. Are you worried about the god Chaos Party harming the little master? Big Sky Demon inquired. The Jade Statue shook her head. The god Chaos Party has many elites. Most of them are ambitious, but they are mostly proud and old. Even Ancient Devil and Berry Path God are too focused on obtaining the seed of the leader. They care nothing for my child. After pausing, the Jade Statue's face looked cocky and proud. She then said, With the genes my child has, in this universe, very few people can hurt her. In that case, what are you worried about? Big Sky Demon looked at the Jade Statue with confusion. Aside from the God Chaos Party in the Geno Hall, she could not think who might want to harm Bauer. I am worried about a person. The Jade Statue went silent. A while later, she said, Only that person will be able to hurt Bauer. Even if he does not hurt Bauer preemptively, Bauer will still have to face him. That is Bauer's destiny. She will be unable to escape this. But why? Who is this? Big Sky Demon asked with shock. This was going much further than she expected it to. Human Alpha. The Jade Statue spoke out these two words very slowly. Big Sky Demon froze. She had never heard of a human with that name before. Judging from the meaning of the name, there was every chance it was an alpha of the human race. According to Big Sky Demon's knowledge of humans, they did not have an alpha. In the universe of kingdoms, humans had their own ancestors that were not the same people. The Jade Statue seemed to already know what was now worrying Big Sky Demon. So she said, he might not be using that name. Perhaps he is already reincarnated. I do not know what his name might be now. No matter how he reincarnates or how great his talent is, strong or weak, if that person can use my gene prototype armor, that is the person we are looking for. When Hansen heard all of that, his heart jumped. A name jumped into his mind. Chinshio. Chapter 3360 died away. Chinshio? Big Sky Demon almost screamed out at the same time. The Jade Statue quietly said, I do not know what his name is here, so I do not know who this Chinshio you are referencing is. Regardless, it does not matter. He will return to his best shape eventually, and Bauer will be the only one able to fight him. Little daughter, bring Bauer here and let her accept the gene seed. She only stands a chance of winning if she does that. Mister, where is the gene seed? Big Sky Demon asked. When the Jade statue heard that, she froze. She looked toward the pool with desperation. Her face changed. Impossible. Except for my child, no other should have been able to take the gene seed. Big Sky Demon was shocked when she heard that. Does that mean the gene seed was in the pool at one point in time? The Jade statue nodded and looked weird. It was placed there. Bauer was the password for access. Even if Human Alpha came here, he would not have been able to take it. Who could have taken it? If the Jade statue is like Bauer's mom, we are relatives. That should enable me to explain this ability of mine. 
Hansen thought. He made the decision to emerge, speak, and explain things to her. If he did that, he could also get the statue to answer a few of his questions and explain what he needed to be elucidated. Before Hansen could even leave the rat hole, he saw someone else enter the copper hall. This time, it was Barry Pathgott. Mr. Leader? When Barry Pathgott saw the jade statue, his reaction was just like that of Big Sky Demon. He immediately kneeled and bowed. Little Barry Barry, you are here too. The jade statue smiled at Barry Pathgott while she spoke. When Hansen heard that, he felt a flare of goosebumps claim his skin. The God Chaos Party's leader dished out nicknames almost as bad as Hansen. Seeing Barry Path God, who was very strong, be called Little Barry Barry, Hansen felt as if it was rather difficult to believe. Barry Path God did not mind his nickname. He bowed and stood up to say, Mr. Leader, you are still here. The Jade Statue shook her head and said, This is but a remnant of my soul. It is the final part. It will soon fade away, so it is good that you are here. Please, take care of my child in the future. Barry Path God seriously said, Mr. I, Barry Path God, promise you no one will bring harm to your child for as long as I live. But please forgive me, I will not be able to treat him as the leader of the 33 Skies and God Chaos Party. The Jade Statue coldly laughed and said, That is fine. It does not matter to me. I am happy as long as she is alive. After that, the Jade Statue pointed at the copper rack and said, There is something there I would like to give you. You should not have any difficulty recognizing it. You should take it with you. Barry Path God raised his head. His eyes glimmered and shone. He could not help himself from screaming and saying, That is the Sky Path picture. Are you really giving this to me, mister? Barry Path God's voice trembled. Obviously, his heart was beating intensely. If you want it, it can be yours, the Jade Statue coldly said. Even people like Barry Path God could not contain their glee if something prompted it. With hands that quaked, he gently picked up the picture he was given. He kneeled before the statue and said, Do not worry, mister. For as long as I am alive, I will not allow anyone to bully the little master. It brings me relief to hear you feel this way, but gauging the future is a difficult prospect these days, the jade statue coldly said. All I can hope is that you try your best. Barry Pathgod wanted to say something, but he suddenly heard a voice come from the copper hall. It was Ancient Devil greeting Mr. Leader. Ancient Devil had finally reached the copper hall. Just like Barry Path God, he kneeled before the statue. Although that was just a statue that contained a fragment of the leader's soul, he did not dare disrespect it. I am glad you are here, the jade statue coldly said. I do not have much time. I am so happy for being able to see you three before I depart. Ancient Devil, there is an item for you too. You should go and take it. There is also something I wish to say to you all. Ancient Devil did not delay. He walked to the copper rack and collected an item. He put it in his sleeve and then performed a bow to the jade statue. From the beginning to the end, Ancient Devil did not seem as intense as Barry Path God and Big Sky Demon were. Hansen was still able to notice a weird glint in Ancient Devil's eyes. When Ancient Devil returned to the jade statue, Big Sky Demon started to speak. Mister, you can tell us anything you want to. The jade statue looked at the three of them. She sighed and said, You three have always been close to me. While we may not share a blood connection, you are as good as children to me. Mister, we have always regarded you as family, Sky Demon said. I came to that acknowledgement a long time ago. Barry Path God and Ancient Devil did not speak. Judging from the looks in their eyes, what the Jade statue was saying was getting them emotional. They just didn't have to express it in words. The Jade statue went on to say, I have never begged anything of anyone, even that person. I never begged him to do anything but there is something I must beg you three for. Mr. Leader, please tell us. Ancient Devil and the three of them all bowed profusely. Other people did not understand the leader, but they did. Back in the day, if a person said something softly, this entire thing would not have happened. Now, she was saying the word beg. That was rare. Even if the person that controlled the Geno Hall and the whole Geno universe had not begged before. Find the gene seed and take it to my child. The jade statue said with a serious look. Without it, my child will not live. Do you not have the gene seed? Barry Path God and Ancient Devil weren't around earlier to hear what was spoken. They did not know the gene seed was gone. I do not have time. Let little daughter tell you. The jade statue smiled at the three of them. In this life, 
It was very nice meeting you. The three of them shivered. They wished to say something, but the jade statue closed its eyes. It was like some spirit shattered inside the statue. It rendered the jade statue devoid of a spirit. It became an inanimate object and nothing greater. Mr. Big Sky Demon looked teary and screamed. Very path God looked at ancient devil. They both bowed before the statue. After bowing, Barry Path God stood up and looked at Big Sky Demon. He asked, Big Sky Demon, what's going on? Who took the gene seed? Big Sky Demon explained all that had happened, but Barry Path God and Ancient Devil weren't buying her story. Big Sky Demon, do not think you can take the gene seed for yourself and then lie to us, Barry Path God said. This belongs to the Little Master, so none of us can take it. Big Sky Demon grunted. It does not matter if you do not believe me. Without you guys, I can still find the gene seed for Master Bauer. Ancient Devil did not speak. He looked into the hall, but it could not be discerned what he was thinking. If the gene seed is not here, then you should go back. Dusk Sky does not welcome you. Very Path God looked at the items in the hall. He spoke to them coldly. Very Path God, you are so selfish. Are you not afraid of karma? Big Sky Demon looked at him with disdain. She knew those items were priceless.